hang on. I need to. I need to open a new tab of Google. For reasons. No. <sighs> then we bring this over top of that. We put Discord here. We move it over a little bit so I can see the questions. And there we go. There we go. I do this setup every time, and no one can see it, but it just makes me feel better. It's like emotional support. It makes me feel worse. Good. <laughs> I'm Number 15, I'm glad you feel worse. The last thing you want in Burger King is for an employee to eat. <laughs> to eat. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Any wage cucks? <laughs> <laughs> Any wager in chat? That reminds well, me, I still need me. to fucking, uh, I still need to fuck. I need to do channel points. Fuck chat's mom. That's right. Suck a cheetah. We don't have any ideas what to do for it, though. People were supposed yeah. to post that on the Reddit, and we got nothing. Oh, yeah. I think... I'll say it again. Post to the Reddit for channel points, or email, or send on Twitter, or whatever. But... Because we're stupid and don't know what to do. Alright, anyway. Hello, welcome to the worst and gayest podcast on Twitch. I'm your host, Unflavored Chips. Today, I'm joined by the lovely... Janiel. Hello. <laughs> Janiel Jailer. Janiel Jailer. And Blix Alice, I can't. <laughs> Blix? Blix. I took your last, the first letter of your last, the first. Fuck it. Anyway, hi, John McTone. Introduce yourself. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Anyway, we're here. It's, it's four fucking 20, dude. We've been smoking weed all day. Oh. Dude. As you can tell, we're all insanely high. We're insanely high, and besides being a. My, uh, you know, my bi-weekly tradition of being a lumbersexual, I'm also a stoner tonight. Bi-weekly. Weekly tradition. Mm -hmm. Emphasis on the bi, but mostly on the gay. Yeah, besides the weekly. You can't prove that. Anyway. It's weekly. Okay. Anyway, we're fucking here to get high. Oh, wait. Two. Hold on. I got two. I, I, I just realized I have these stu those stupid fucking sunglasses, too, sitting there. Dude, put them on. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you guys do you wanna... look like a fucking drug dealer? Hey, do you guys do you want to listen to some vinyl and drink craft beer? <laughs> I, look like a, oh. I look like a hipster. <laughs> oh shit. You went from lumber sexual to hipster in five seconds. <laughs> That's a speed run. Does that have any does this podcast have any gluten? Because if so, I have to leave. Sorry, I'm all gluten, baby. Yeah. Also, you can see my screen now. Oh, leaked. Oh, oh. You can see, you can see the mo top monitor, the bottom monitor, this, this monitor, this. Oh. Okay, that key. <laughs> we can. Oh go. god, there's something that's not right. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Welcome, welcome to the podcast this week. Um, I actually, you know what? I'll say this too. I can see surprisingly well through these. Fucking shut the fuck up, Photoshop. I don't want to update. <laughs> but yeah. I can't fucking take you seriously with the sunglasses. Dude, you, you kind of look like like Eggman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like move the mic out of the way for a second. You kind of look like lumber sexual Eggman. Hey. With like a beard and said the mustache. <laughs> How you doing? Why is my collar so low right now? <laughs> oh. Why are you wearing a chain necklace? Oh, that's my. You don't need to know. <laughs> it's my Jo crystal. Yeah, it's my chaos emerald. Sucker <laughs> button. So anyway. You got the chaos emeralds. So now, now I look like I'm gonna about to play the guitar for you. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Let's <laughs> say it. Finally. Yeah. It's a joke for me. I don't know if I should keep these on the rest of the podcast for a joke or not at this point. Uh, do, what, do whatever makes you feel gay. Okay. This me. Ah, oh, fuck! This makes me feel gay. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, here. I'll put them. You know what? I'll put them on. Oh, it doesn't matter. If I put them upside down, they're circles. <laughs> Why <laughs> circles are upside down? <laughs> I have fooled all of you. Huh, the entire time they were upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Chokes on you, forehead. My glasses are upside down. I couldn't see anything. 
<laughs> yeah, jokes on you, Reddit. Anyway, uh, before we get into the questions, we have a few things to say. Uh, first things first. Uh, until the 26th, we still have that single player poll running for the next uh, playthrough. And yeah. on top of that, get, I would like to get your suggestions in for the one after that, even though it is really early. Get them in so I have them so we can be prepared. That would be nice because we, we're trying to plan ahead now and be better than we were. But uh, that should be it, yeah. And remember that that the poll, that poll, that runs till the children's pool. The pool, the pool is closed. Get in the pool because of stingrays Get in. and AIDS, and stingrays that have AIDS. Drink the cor chlorine. It runs Drink it. till Monday, April twenty sixth, eleven fifty nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time, U.S. Can you do Mountain Time instead? That's much better. No, Why would you I don't believe in mountains. Mountain time isn't real. Yeah. I mean, time's not real, so you're right. But make sure you vote in that poll to decide between Half-Life, Silent Hill, and Donkey Kong Country what game you want finished. With the game, please. Play game. Yes. No want podcast. Play game. How funny. Yes. Shoot. Yes. Is there something you'd like to say, Alex? Because you said you have things. Uh... I really like beef. Beef is pretty cool. If you yeah. if you want beef, subscribe. <clears throat> oh, I also have a bit of an announcement. Also, um, I have a. I want to hear some feedback on this too. Okay. 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 Some feedback from the audience, because this was I think important. So, we did a. Uh, some like some silly spaghetti for a couple streams there right so my plan was because people we, li we like doing the series people like the series spaghetti with games that we genuinely play and we like the silly so my idea was for a lot of spaghetti streams we do say we start off do maybe a little bit of silly you know like the deal or no deal something like that that's relatively we can do that don't won't take too much time we can just do that and then we'll transition into like a more serious game like oh this is a game we want to test out to see if it's good for a playthrough uh if it's we're not we don't plan on doing a playthrough but we still want to play it stuff like that dude that deal or no deal was cursed as hell i that was unintentionally i think perfect <laughs> that was... <laughs> that needs to get uploaded to the youtube oh that's gonna get uploaded to the youtube actually i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly it's gonna get uploaded not tonight but either tomorrow or the day after something Sometimes very that soon. that was that was something that was very much so something but i think fig i figured because people do like the silly stuff and i didn't want to take that away so i figured okay if we do maybe yeah start off do a little bit of the silly stuff and then maybe okay alex takes over and do some ser we do more serious and stuff like that also too uh suggestions for spaghetti um something uh we're doing this thursday spoiler for spaghetti is at some points also we're gonna do like an audition basically for some games which is kind of what we started was a lot of Nintendo with spaghetti so if there's like a game you want us to do and we want to say like okay we want to test this out see if it could be a playthrough it's not your band forever we're coming to your house and we're gonna fuck you but if not you know when he said silly my brain went okay scrilly okay scrungus Big Scrungus? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain. My brother's like, all right, you need to listen to this. Scrungus. <laughs> someone, I want someone to make a compilation of us slowly losing our minds. <laughs> I'm sure that's coming soon. I don't know why my brain does this. Like, you need to listen to this. I know he's talking. Scrungus. That also reminds me, speaking of compilation, PyCake messaged me and he said he might do uh robot juice compilation but i want to hear from audience uh because he said he, uh on a podcast or something for me to mention this. i was supposed to mention this like like literally two weeks ago but uh sorry but uh if there's like a compilation you want for him to make like the first one he makes like oh funny moments uh fucking up words robot juice moment like whatever you want suggest and whatever people like most want he'll make that and i'll be like the first official robot juice compilation and is it where is it getting uploaded? Uh, I haven't decided yet. 
he he might said he might just do it on his channel might put it on our channel might do it on an alternate like or their clip channel we haven't decided yet i mean i was thinking if he does want to upload it on robot juice mm -hmm. uh, the the juicers see it we could just like robot juice moment compilation by pie cake we could i will that i will it's like in the title so there's it's yes. like very clear he give, made it give him us. credit yeah actually no hmm. no we shouldn't we should just get rid of his name and say we made it and we're really cool it's just jerking our that's the thing though i thought too about like making a compilation but i felt that's so like self masturbatory if i made a compilation yeah, of ourselves <laughs> Oh, hang on. Let, let me Dude, reach down. These are funniest moments. You're down here. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, hang on. Let me give you a hand with that. Uh, reach down through me, the webcam. Let me help you. There you go. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Not gay at all. Not gay at all. All right. Uh, also, oh, that reminds me also, too, of something uh, I saw. So, um, you know, you guys know, familiar with the site Social Blade, where you can, like, see, like, your grade projections and stuff like that. First, yeah, we always get a D minus. We had a C plus actually when I checked, which I think is. Wait, we're on Social Blade. Yes, we are on Social Blade. We have a C plus rating for our channel, and they projected. Uh, I was thinking like they have projected subs, and I was like, okay, I wonder what they project us. They said first off, in five years, we'll have, they projected us to have twenty uh, k subs. But I, I'm here's my question. When do you think they projected us to have a thousand? Uh, probably like a year. It was a year. I checked. They said we're gonna, according to their projections, that we're supposed to hit a thousand subs on I think June seventeenth, twenty twenty two. And I first, my first thought was I saw twenty twenty two. I'm like, oh okay, so that's a while from now. Then I realized, oh wait, that's next year. And then I was like, oh that's cool. And then I realized that's next year. If it does happen. Kingdom Hearts 2. And here's the thing, too. I'm also in denial. I keep telling myself, well, a year is a, f is a long time from now. It's not. It really isn't. It's going to be here quick. And if it does, we hit that point. And the, the projections are right. But also, why do we have a C plus? I got. I don't know. I, <laughs> uh, Who I put us on Social Blade? I don't why know. are we there? I can, I'm literally going to yeah, enter. Yep, Rob Juice. <laughs> Rob juice. Hey, it's me, Rob. Want some of my juice? Yeah, we have a C plus grade. <laughs> Our estimated monthly earnings are fifty cents, between fifty cents and eight dollars. <laughs> we make approximately zero. Yeah, we. They don't. You really think we're fucking monetized? Are you kidding me? We're not monetized. We're a YouTuber. Oh my god. I I'm just seeing this though. If you, like looking at the stats though how it's just like we our subscriber and views are just like stagnant and then it hits about the beginning of the year and it just skyrockets holy shit uh, why are we on social blade <laughs> i don't know but they it said doesn't it doesn't make any sense uh first off okay how many things are on social blade because we rank about 7.7 .7 .7 million on the social blade rank and apparently basically famous basically famous oh also i'll see similar channels here but uh <laughs> for some reason hey no free advertising no free advertising uh games rank we're at 2.4 million and for, if for some reason our country is canada and in canada we're the we're at 235,000. so we're in <laughs> That's right. You heard it here first, folks. We're the 235,000 most famous Canadian YouTubers. I want to see. Okay. I, uh, I think I know why. It's, I think it's because of how you're dressed. Oh, that's why they just. <laughs> <laughs> I think they see you dressed like a lumberjack. Like, okay, this guy's Canadian. Hey, what are you guys talking about? What are you talking about? I'm drinking me maple syrup out of my flask. I want them to say. Why don't they say, though? Uh, like in comparison, like, oh, you're this place out of this. How, like, okay, I, can I Google this? How many channels on social blood? Oh, there's 20, it says 23 million channels. Basically oh. famous. That's all I'm saying. I mean, we're, we're, we're up there, man. We're in the elite. <laughs> 
That's almost like top third percentile, which is gay. That's fucking gay. And it says, uh, future projections. It says by the end of the year, we'll have about 500 subs. I'm projecting hardcore right now. It's funny, <laughs> too, because I, I remember uh, at the beginning of the year, I thought, okay, I want us to hit 200 by the end of 2022. We, we might hit it, like, this year. You were like, I want us to hit 50 by tr the end of 2021. Yeah, I was literally like... I was like, okay, if we hit 50, that would be good. And I thought, I've put the goal at 75. I thought, that's a bit of a, that's a bit of an out that's there a, goal. A stretcher. <laughs> it's not even halfway through. We're double the goal we set. But on April 20th, 2026, we'll have about 15K subs. It says here. Nice. That's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Also, the thing is, too, uh, as far as like growing channels right now as far as like growing channels we're in the hardest part we will be because once we hit like a certain threshold it'll it'll be a lot easier to get ourselves out there yeah because then youtube will will like stick actually, us in other people's and we'll suggestions. Actually, yes i think once we hit a, like yeah a couple thousand or so then it'll be like oh that's actually kind of scary now because this is at the current projection we're at and if we speed up and get more and more and it gets bigger and bigger <laughs> Yeah, because uh, YouTube growth typically for channels is exponential once they hit a certain point. Yeah. They tend to plateau eventually. Like, some channels seem to stick at, like, 100,000 or, like, 20,000, like, forever. But they all, all of a sudden get, like, a sudden jump. Yeah. And I, I'm... I think that's... You know, it's funny, too, because that's funny how when we said at the beginning of this, like, oh, this is just a little... Spur side and, project here we go yeah yeah this is a little side project we'll get a couple subscribers and now it's just like oh it's growing and like we said too we said that when uh we first got like the initial boost uh this year for subscribers where it's like okay we get a little boost where that's cool and now it's just like it hasn't it's slowed down but it's still going like at least like every other day at least where you get a new subscriber and it's just like oh i've been like in school systems for almost 17 years and i really hope that rather than using the schooling I get to earn money in like five years, I make all my money off of robot juice and Dogecoin. <laughs> and just don't work. <laughs> just sit on my ass like a loser. I here's the thing. I will I actually thought about this too, where it's like just imagine like us making like money to where we're just like, oh yeah, uh spend like a hundred K or something like that on a giant dick statue. Yeah, let's just do it. We can. We got the money for robot juice. Big statue in my yard, right in front of the graveyard. I just, I can't imagine. The All right, I'm gonna say it's because it's spring again and the grass is growing, and this really pisses me off. Every time I, there's a graveyard like right behind my house, every time I want to cut the grass, someone's having a fucking funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not die on the day I want to cut the goddamn grass? <laughs> it's looking pretty bad out there. I want to cut the grass. I don't give a fuck that you're dead. You know, right, man? you know what I would do, and this would be, I would get on my lawnmower. I would go out there shirtless, with my Crocs on, just mowing the grass, and say, "Howdy, neighbor." <laughs> I have a push mower, but it, oh, it's okay. never stopped me. We I, got to ride it, Joe. We're riding, boys. Ride till I die. <laughs> just... <laughs> Funerals never stop me from mowing my lawn. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Listen. Your dead grandmother is not going to come away of my beautiful lawn. You understand it's this? The, it's like a men and women in like, like suits and the black like funeral dresses. And I'm just there like fucking. I, just, I don't know why. I just imagine you two. You're you just like going over it. And they're just like lowering. The, like there's like. They're to the point where they're about to lower it. And you're just like coming in there to the funeral. And just like start running over like the dead body. And you're just like, oh, hold on. <laughs> I am in a bumpy spot here. <laughs> Hey, I was dressed for the occasion. I was wearing a black shirt. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you I, go. I, I just, I love the complaint of that. These fucking people keep dying. And I can't mow my lawn. Ugh. <laughs> it keeps happening. <laughs> it happens so often. I, I'll say this too. There's just something otherworldly about mowing, mowing lawns. I don't know what it is. <laughs> It's just like, I guess it's just like a, maybe it's like a genetic thing with men, but whatever. It's just like the primal urge whenever I see a lawn, I'm just like, I gotta mow that. 
<laughs> I get so like hot and sweaty and sunburnt. <laughs> Cause I'm really white. <laughs> I just I don't know what I imagine you ever see that uh, Carly Ray Justin uh, call me maybe video where he just like <laughs> he's mowing the it's mowing the lawn but like uh, because he's trying to flex at the same time so he just has like his arms up here like he, he's like mowing the lawn like this <laughs> it's like this really buff guy just like drinking water just like mm, mm. <laughs> that's me that's how i mow the lawn i got my water i put it in one of those special little drinking hats just... you know what i realized <laughs> i have severe lack of bucket hats because that's how uh you my brain went really autistic for a second. I started reaching my water and was just gonna like fucking dump it on my head like an absolute <laughs> retard for no reason. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, that thought doesn't make any sense. <laughs> All I'm saying is, this is why we're projected at 20k subs. <laughs> this is 20k subs, right? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm starting. It's funny too because I felt so calm like an hour ago. I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna start streaming now. I'm just yesterday. Like, I felt I felt really autistic. <laughs> I don't know why. It was just, we don't deserve that many subscribers. We don't. I actually, you know what? I thought about it though. If those fucking like weird auto-generated animation ch uh, channels for kids, where it's like Spider-Man fucks also slime stuff, if they can make it, we can make it too. All right. Listen, because YouTube isn't about quality content. It's about shitting your pants. <laughs> That's true. I've already done it. <laughs> pants, shit, piss, making, robot juice time. Robot juice time. You shit your pants? <laughs> right, now that Dan is going over there, why don't we start on some questions? Also, yeah. Uh, also, I want to say fuck you to the guy who said uh, last our last podcast for us to do the whole... Uh, roundabout what is it called popcorn reading round robin called. yeah round robin popcorn whatever the fuck you want to call it of the questions that was a terrible idea yes anyway now i look now i look like a fucking mexican gangster hey yo man what the fuck hey are you oh, what's so, up what was it it's scrongus what's up <laughs> scrongus what's up man are you a trauma <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Let's get into questions. I don't think. Oh. Let me actually. Let me check my notepad document. I've lost it because I have so many. I have like fifty notepad documents open. Oh, uh, 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 Why do you uh, type in notepad? Because <laughs> you know why? I always put. I always open up notepad to put like, oh, uh, make sure to uh, make sure, <laughs> make sure like. Oh, I don't know. Uh, make sure to give Sydney her food at five. Oh, make sure to uh, shovel hot Cheeto back up your ass at three. Like I always set myself to reminders, but instead of like having it in one notepad, I open up another one. So I just have like fifty different notepad opens with. It'll just say like eat chip or something like that, or just like some very basic instruction. Uh, eat hot chip, charge phone, lie. <laughs> Or I'll be something for something for an edit, or I'll be like, oh, uh, find I... find clip of nostalgia creep orgasm. Got it. Because well, that happens. Because a lot of times I'll I'll edit for a bit, then I'll stop, but then I'll be like, okay, I have this idea for what I want to do, and make sure to get this, so I have to remind myself for the funny joke when I come back. So I'll write it down like, oh yeah, find nostalgia critic screaming, uh, Photoshop Sora wearing George, show your dick, like stuff like that. Anyway. I have to put it in. The notepad commanded it. The notepad said, I gotta show my fucking dick. Alright. I'm just saying, if YouTube allowed it at some point, I probably would've just, like, here's my dick. <laughs> okay. There anyway. you go. Anyway. Showing that baby around. We did our intro. We got some fucking questions to ask. And I'll we say- We did. That, we did our 20 minute intro. We did our fucking 20 minute intro, boys. So here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you how to submit questions right now. You can submit questions, uh, through email at, uh, through robot juice or no on the on the juice podcast at gmail.com you can go to our reddit r slash robot juice and you can we have a little thread there it's pinned you can just enter that thread enter your little questions or twitter robot underscore juice on twitter wake up sheeple anyway that's all let's start reading some questions and you can also i'm just gonna plug this so people do it 
at John McDone on Twitter. I tweet whenever we go live. And here's the thing. At Unfavored Chips on Twitter. I don't use it, but if you follow me, that'll be a good boost to my ego. My fragile ego. I, I need support, guys, please. These lumber sexual looks aren't all they're gonna have to be. If you want more, if you want some lumber sexual, you want some lumber sexuality in your life, my Twitter's the way to go. At Unflavored Chips, Space Cowboy. Anyway. Limp Biz Kith Enthusiast. <laughs> yeah. I really like how no one you knew noticed that for years, and I noticed it in 20 seconds. I, that was literally been my bio on Twitter for like at this point six seven years like very and no one noticed and then I get Twitter for ten seconds and say hey yeah why did they limp Bizkiff? <laughs> we've had how long all right anyway Alex you owe me child support no I don't you can't prove it oh yeah I was like why are you saying that oh it's the it's the question how did the whole tagline of gay streams on the platform actually start? Also, it's brilliant after listening to the first podcast. Austin literally became gay, so he couldn't get a girl pregnant. Absolute game remove. Oh, I forgot about that. I just want to say, too, you gave, you said it in a year, I would have, and I haven't yet. No, yeah, well. Hey, listen. Whole gay streamers on the platform thing was just kind of a random joke that I think Austin came up with. He just, like, kind of said it, and it stuck. I I was literally, um, I actually remember the exact origin. I think we were... Uh, I was changing the title to a Pikmin stream, and I f and one of like the tags that popped up I could add was the LGBTQ plus tag, and I added. Yeah. I'll say like, oh, I'll add this as a joke, and then I said, I remember saying, oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna add this and become the gayest streamers on the platform, and that's yeah. and we just kept saying it, and now it's like a thing. Yeah, now, now we're actually the gayest streamers on the platform. Yeah. Here we are. Here Peak we are. Gay. Yeah. Next one appears to be a comment from the Reddit. Ooh. Yeah, because instead of typing it out or copying and pasting it, I just took a screenshot of the fucking Reddit and put I it in the document. I used the snipping tool. I did use the snipping tool. I did use the snipping that's, tool. That's a very, like, that's a moment of your life where you feel power. <laughs> like, you evolve as a person when you learn about the snipping tool. Mm -hmm. I just want to say yeah. that. Anyways, Revolution Gemstone, seven days ago, says... Please. I'm curious if the boys have ever had any experience with building Lego and what were some of your guys' favorite sets? And do you guys still have an interest in them? To this day, I still will get myself a cool Lego set if I see one in the shops. I feel like it's a really relaxing thing to do, especially when listening to the podcast. Also, I'm gay. <laughs> uh, I like... Here's the thing about building Lego. I would if I could, but the problem is they're expensive. <laughs> Like really? Oh yeah, oh yeah, terrible. That's expensive. the fucking. That's the thing too, because I remember like as a kid, I'm like, like my mom being like, I like very like um, apprehensive about getting me a Lego set, and she was like, I don't know about getting this. I'm like, why? And then I realized for for just like not even a big set, just for like a medium set, it's like a hundred dollars. It's like it's uh -huh. like ridiculous. And I, like and I'm just like, oh, I have. You know, I'm able to spend my own money and stuff like that. I want to see how Lego exists. Are. Oh, the actual good sets are 100 plus. And like, oh, yeah. And it, it's so fucking ridiculous. That's why, guys, we need you to subscribe using Twitch Prime. We need you to donate through Streamlabs. We need, when we get the Patreon, subscribe that. We want to build Lego. <laughs> so we don't be man children. I remember. Because I used to be big into Lego when I yeah. was young. That was before I was huge into, like, video games i'm still like a, a gamer batman but i was really into like lego sets i really like the, the lego knights because they had a bunch of like really cool like castle sets and whatnot mm -hmm. that i really like they get all these cool towers and whatnot other than that it was like i like the halo sets yes uh, and that was sort of like my jam was halo sets a couple star wars sets not not too many and like the knight sets those were I like those ones. Yeah. I, um, for me, I had, I was obviously, I was big on Star Wars. There was, uh, I, I don't know what it was called. It was like a mech suit line or something. Not like Ninjago or whatever. It was something before that. I know what you're talking about, Austin. Exoforce. I literally, I was Googling it while Alex was talking. That's what I had. But I was, yeah, very big into Legos. Uh, the problem was I was like, 
stupid and autistic, well, I still am, but I really, and that's, this is how I can tell I will never have time travel in my lifetime, because if there was, I would have come back and beat the fuck out of younger me for mixing up all the Legos. So now when I, so now when I want to go build Lego sets as an adult, I can't because I don't know where all the pieces are, because they're just in like three or four just giant tubs. But anyway. I like Lego. It helps my autism. I think everyone here likes Lego. Yeah. All right, you, Dan, you haven't yeah. spoken yet, like, at all. Talk, damn you, it's a podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to shop. Oof. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember, I even showed off my, my new Lego laptop there, remember, guys? Yeah. Dan's the kind of guy who's still into, like, all of his childhood interests. He's got that youthful spirit about him. Yeah. yeah. Despite... I, it's actually, like, amazing how the fact that he's somehow both, like, a 50-year-old man and a child at this, like... <laughs> he's a 50-year-old man and, like, a 7-year-old child <laughs> at the same time. It is truly amazing. Scientists hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, this is unrelated, but when I actually went to purchase my shotgun, the guy said I looked young, and I, I don't know. No one's ever said that to me before. That's not you don't have a beard. Probably. It depends on how he said it, too. You look pretty young. You're looking pretty young there, boy. Do you want to see my shotgun? Oh, oh. cock something for me. Oh, I'll pump a couple shells in you if you know what I mean. But I'm not gay. I'm homosexual. <laughs> How'd you like, hey, sir, get your streamer on the platform right here. He just says, all right, sir, here's your shotgun. Wait a minute. You're a robot, Juice. I'm going to give you a discount for being the gay streamer on the platform. There you go, brother. <laughs> I think that would be like the weirdest place to meet, like at a gun shop or something like that. And there's like, hell yeah, brother. Wait a minute, you're the gay streamer on the fucking platform. Hell yeah. <laughs> he's oh, just, yeah, brother. <laughs> he's walking, he's wearing I'm gay and love robot juice shirt. <laughs> I was, you know, Power. this is also uh, off top, a bit off topic, but I, I had a thought was like, oh, we release merch, and then someone, like, commits a serious crime or something like that while wearing one of our merch. <laughs> and then you see, like, CCTV footage of him, like, robbing the clerk, and it's just his shirt says, I'm gay and love robot I'm juice. just like, this man in in the south side today was caught robbing PNC Bank, and it's just like, yeah, he's, like, holding a gun, and it just says, and he was wearing a shirt that says, I'm gay and love robot juice? Hmm. <laughs> Suspect's key identifying feature was his I'm gay and love robot juice t-shirt. Either that or, like, something where it's, like, a pie cake where you're an aerospace engineer and then, like, he's meeting up with someone, like, from NASA or, like, something, like, really high up in port and they're just like, oh, yeah, so we're gonna build a spaceship to fucking blow up Uranus. Uh, <laughs> and we're gonna blow it up and then, like, Elon Musk is like, oh, hi, hello, hello pie cake, how are you? And then he's like, robot juice, huh? <laughs> you're a game of robot juice, huh? Actually, oh, that, I had a dream like that the other day about Elon, where he, like, I, for some reason we met him, and he was just like, oh, what's, what's this robot juice? And, and we're just like, it's all on your YouTube channel. He goes, that's pretty cool. Can I have a shirt? And I'm just like, yeah, here, here you go. And he, like, posted a photo, and it was just like, it was just like uh, him just against a wall, just like very, like a child. Like, you know how moms take pictures of, like, uh, their kid before, like, their first day of school? It looked like that, and it was just him standing there. He posted on Twitter of him with, like, a robot juice shirt. And he goes like, uh, like something like, "I love the gayest streamers on the platform," or something along those lines. Dude, if we had an "I love I'm gay and love robot juice" shirt, I'd wear it. I would absolutely wear that. But the thing is, I would absolutely be like sitting there, be like, oh, "I'm gonna go. I gotta go to the store and get something," and forget I'm wearing it. And then as like I'm in the <laughs> checkout, realize I'm wearing a shirt that says "I'm gay and love robot juice." <laughs> and just I'd like, wear it just like fucking own it. Like I'd be out with my dad wearing an "I'm gay and love robot juice" shirt, and he'd have no idea what it means. And I'm just like, "Fuck, fuck you." you I just imagine like showing up to Thanksgiving or like Christmas Eve party and just like, "Oh, hey, Austin, Kate, here you go. Oh, what, what's that? Uh, what's that? Oh." Or like oh. I'm picking up my like my picking up my son from school. It's like, oh Eli, how's your uh, how's your uh, <laughs> how's your day at school? School? Oh, you, you're yes, I yes I am wearing it. I, I am. yes I am wearing the shirt. You like a, don't need to you don't need to comment on it. Or like a parent teacher conference. Like, oh uh, your son Eli, he's a, he's a great student. He's a uh, you know he's great. He's, what is that, uh, Mister Mister uh, Chips? What does that shirt say? I'm I'm gay and love love robot juice. What does that mean? Huh. 
Well, you know, it's uh, it, it's my gay company. <laughs> the gay streamers on the platform. We're, no, we're not the, well, the better thing would be if the, the teacher then reveals their own shirt. <laughs> it says, and then it says, well, what about this? I'm not gay, but I still love robot juice. That could, oh, that's another show where it says, I'm not gay, but I still love robot juice. I like that because it implies the prerequisite of you have to be gay to like us. <laughs> it also implies the fact that someone's so insecure in their masculinity, they specifically choose this shirt that says, not gay. Yeah. I just, oh my god, I like that, like, a lot, like, oh, like... Someone, and we make that one, like, three dollars more expensive. I like, I like the idea that someone's like, god, I swear, I, I like robot juice, I'm not gay. Just like a, like, I'm not, I swear, I'm not gay. I just like robot officer, juice. I'm not gay. I'm not gay, officer. I just like robot juice. I said that. I so I just imagine someone like not even just I'm gay shirt, but it's like someone wearing a shirt with a robot juice logo, and if someone goes up to them like, "Oh, you're gay," I, I get it. Oh, I, I understand. Robot you, juice, you're gay. You're fucking gay. I I, I get it. <laughs> All right, uh, comrade Koopa. Oh yeah. I recognize his name from a YouTube comment. I think. Yes. What's your opinion on uh, on when games try to have politics in them? Do you think it's something that makes sense, or could they be separate but equal? <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah, that last part. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna make a joke. I shouldn't. Dan, what are your thoughts? You never get to go first, Dan. My back is so fucking Thanks. sweaty. Take your I'm shirt off. Stand up. I think if they're doing it in a satirical way, or they're using outdated politics, you know, like. If they're making jokes about the Clinton administration, because who's not making jokes about the Clinton administration? You know, that, that's fine. But when you're taking current day issues and putting them in your video games, that's a little preachy, I feel like. Hey guys, you like my Stephen Hawking okay. cosplay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining you at like an anime convention. You're in Toronto, you're holding a fucking wheeze. It's like, whoa. Oh, wow. oh, it's good that you brought your crippled friend here. It's like, no, no, no. That's his Stephen Hawking cosplay. I just imagine, like, uh, you know, we have. I just imagine, like, we're at a convention and people, it's like, ho, ho, like, unflavored chip. Yeah, do you want me to sign that? Okay, hold on. Uh, uh, hello. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, there you go. Have fun. And it's just like, put my. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, I like it. I'm so sorry, Dan. You're trying to make a point. I just fucking steamrolled it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Honestly, the problem with games inserting politics, I think some games can insert politics, but it should be less about specific... It shouldn't be about specific issues. Like, it shouldn't be specifically about this person or that person. It's typically not. Yeah. Uh, but... Obviously, if a game has a political point you disagree with, you're not going to like the game because it's going to offend you on a personal level. Mm. Makes me hard. I think it can be done. There are games that do political messages and still be, like, good games. Something like Papers, Please. Oh, does yeah, that. Papers, Please is really good. Where yeah. it has its political message, but it's not, it's not like, you know, push, like, hey, 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 I... hey look. Look at my political position. It's like, it's it's there, if you wanna, if you wanna think about it. Otherwise, you can just ignore it and do ha ha funny. I order, think, man. I think it works, if it. I think the worst is when it's just, it's very in your face and, it's just no substance at all. It's like, racism bad. It's like okay, like, everyone agrees, but what, like, oh Jesus, <laughs> I was just super angry. <laughs> oh, racism bad. What the fuck God, you mean? God damn it! Sorry, heated gamer moment. <laughs> you truly are a gamer. I feel like, yeah, if you do it, make it subtle. And if you don't... I, if it's, like, overtly political, I think it... At least make it sort of more in-depth. Don't just be, like, very surface level. Because then I feel like, at that point, you're just doing it for the sake of lo trying to look smart. Not actually trying to make, like, a message or something. Like, a broader idea basically it's got to be done tastefully and you yes. have to make a specific point of not demonizing people for their beliefs yeah i think it of a game a good game would kind of if they do political stuff where it's not like demonizing it's almost like raising a discussion kind of like making you think like oh well here what do you think about this and sort of making you be gay 
fart on my two inch cock. Yeah, but what's the question to say? <laughs> Is there any YouTubers slash content creators that you have a strong disliking of? Oh, dude. Oh, this is great. So this is how we get more. This is how we get to that 20k subscribers. We start some drama. Drama alert. All right. Outsiders gaming. I mean, kind of cringe. I, I don't think there's like anyone that I have a strong disliking for, personally. <clears throat> I don't like mukbang. Huh? Who? I don't like mukbang. Like that entire genre. Oh. If I you don't... do that, just screw you. I find it really weird. I know, so by the way, some assholes could be like, it's not mukbang, it's muk, it's mukbang, or whatever. Fuck you. Fuck you, it, Korea. It, it, it's cool. Yeah. I don't think, yeah, there's a, as far as, uh, I don't like mukbang, mukbang. I don't, I do like banging your mom chat, though. Uh, your mom chat. Not your mom, <laughs> your mom chat. Uh, That's right, you chat. You. You. You're the mom now. Uh, I don't know, because I, f I tend to not, like, have strong feelings unless I met the person personally. So I can't really... I just tend to avoid content I don't like. Yeah. That's also, yeah, if yeah. It's, I don't like it, there's a lot... Because I feel like, it, honest to God, it's stupid to uh, really focus on stuff you don't like. Why, like, you can just spend that time just liking things forehead. One thing I don't like is, uh, Women. like, news channels and other like corporate channels oh that God. just like, cut clips of their tv shows and upload them and then they pay youtube tons of money and they get they essentially take the spot that should be for an independent creator it, i don't like that they keep, but that's more of a system issue that is a system issue i think the worst part too is no matter how many times i say don't recommend me this shit they always keep recommending it yeah, if you click on any political vid video, any video at all, instead of getting more of that specific content creator, you're going to see CNN, MSNBC, yeah. Fox News, fucking, uh, w what else is there? Uh, fucking, I don't care. NBC, ABC, whatever. Yeah. You're not going to get more of the person you want to watch. You're going to get some corporate media establishment news that you didn't click on and did not search for just because they pay YouTube tons of money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens whenever I'm, like, not logged in my... If you're, like, not logged into YouTube, you just go on the YouTube homepage. Jesus Christ, it's cancer. Oh, I know. It's, it's so, so bad. cancer. And if it is actual, like, content creator, it's utter horseshit garbage. And I'm sorry, I don't want to be mean to, like, some yeah, it's, but it's, It's like, always stuff like sharpening a knife for 500 years or something yeah. stupid. It's so fucking... Like, calling, uh... Uh, Keanu Reeves at 3am gone sexual... Where like Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves. Also, I like when you were talking about listing news channels. My first thought when you said NBC was N word BC. <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 Mystic and Thean. how you doing, bro? Hey, robot juice. I shouldn't say bro. I'm pretty sure that Mystic Athenian is a woman. Wait, a woman. A woman. Hang on. There's a woman that watches. How far can you score? You. <laughs> That's a meme, Dan. You never seen it? No. It's like it's a. Hey, it's enter feet pics. They're vital for my investigation. It's a it's a meme because that happens on YouTube channels where like it'll be like this woman who's like, oh, I'm here to talk the ethical the ethics of different uh, economic systems, and they'll be like, some dude will be like, that's really cool to hear. How far do you squirt? <laughs> I'm trying to give me birth. Yeah, like that. That stuff. <laughs> Where it's just Read like, the question. Like here, no, oh, we gotta talk more about this because it's like we have like, to get into. Like here's a here's a very oh that's a very realistic drawing of like Emma Watson and then someone's like oh yeah that's really cool. Now uh, draw her farting. <laughs> like, oof. Don't. Uh, that's enough horny posting. Hey yeah. Robot Juice, I wanted to ask about your hesitancy towards projects, as you call it. I'm always interested in the behind the scenes workings of media production. It was a bit interesting to hear on the 100 sub special about the pace you take with Redacted versus Robot Juice. And when do you think it will be an appropriate time to expand the brand like you guys want? First off, being called media <sighs> production. Uh, yeah, that's that's, that's so... some horse shit that you say to make your job seem more than it is. No, I'm just saying that's so like uh, pretentious for what we are. This this isn't media production. This is piss production. This... That's what we do here. We're not. We're not influencers. We're not influencers. We're cum shit farters. All right. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right. Certified cum shit farters on oh, YouTube. I want like if we ever have an office, I want that where it's like, it's like a big like plaque where it says like unflavored chips, official cum shit farter or something like that. Can I be the official the official fart shit comer? Of course you can. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't get yeah, media production. I don't like that because it just sounds. It's like, too fancy of a term for us. Yeah, I mean, I get what technically it is, but if we're going by definitions, yes. Yeah. If we're going by sanity, no. That's that's like saying we on this channel discuss ma like male ejaculation in detail. It's like no. It's like, the male ejaculatory system. Yeah, the male ejaculatory system. It's like, well, I mean, I guess, but not in the way you would think. Also, it might be just, like, stupid. What projects is, like, this referring to? I think they mean by projects like us saying, oh, we're going to do, like, the cooking show stream. Like, stuff that we said we're going to do. Oh, later. yeah. Uh, that's just because of, like, budgetary and quality reasons. I think, yeah, that's for, we don't have the budget yet for that. But also, I think, I said this when we first began. I wanted to do this one year of us not doing anything like serious like that and just see, okay, establishing yourself, see how it goes. And then yeah, after build that, a, an establishment, build a base, build a foundation, because here's the thing you need, you know, you need to build a foundation before you fucking build the rest of the house. But now it's like once the yeah, foundation, it's, it's like, you, cause I think, uh, um, we said this so many times before where it's like with robot juice we were just so like we need to do this we need to do that we need to do this and all that where it's like you mean redacted we were trying to fucking put the furniture before we built the house where now it's like all right that house is built okay what kind of couch do we want what kind of tv do we want like you gotta get the basis yeah, so, to, so to cut the piss a little short here we just, we'll, we'll expand and we have the budget and i th yeah i think and we have more of an established base once we have more I think um, once the year's up, I think we'll do like more so testing waters, if that makes sense. We'll once get like, borderline experimental. We'll get borderline experimental, but like very small things where it's like, okay, what do you think about this? And sort of putting out feelers. Like, feel, it would come into your house and we're going to fill you up, audience. We're going to say, like, okay, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about that? And sort of get a feel. And then once, you know, but just give us some time. We don't know when exactly I, I honestly i would like to say okay definitively this is when we're going to do it this is when it's gonna start but we don't we don't know there's like a lot of factors that go into official you know the cream summer. cheese carl i want to cream your cheese carl austin why did you sound like you were drunk during the lego indiana jones playthrough is dan drugging people again i mean he is but that that's unrelated uh it's because oh. if you uh i don't know if i said on stream i stayed up for well over 24 hours and my plan was to just okay i'm just gonna power through it and then i fell asleep for an hour and i woke up and i was half asleep the entire stream <laughs> so, yeah honestly i don't think that was one of our best that was not our best streams i think i really because i was that like, stream could have been a lot better it could have been a lot better i think it was just i was like half asleep i didn't i gotta be honest i don't remember a single thing that happened like i was yeah, just honestly in, like i could have done a lot better during that, it wasn't very good. No. Hopefully, the next one will be funnier. Yeah, we just talked about. It just, as a content creator, I could feel that that wasn't that wasn't good at all. I'll say that I'll, even though I'll say that though, as a content creator, you know, as as a media production person, you know, media you, production, you, you're gonna have off days. I think that's just we're gonna have some streams like ah, eh, that's not so good. Then you have some streams like fuck, that was hilarious. I'm gonna jerk off to myself because that's yeah, but then. And the next one, we're gonna get back to Squanto. <laughs> that was that. I'll say that that's actually the one good reason why i was half asleep that squanto happened because i don't know how the fuck that happened i don't there would have been a probably a 40 percent moment but nothing that bad <laughs> that wasn't even 40 percent. there was so much wrong with that i <laughs> was borderline like zero percent that wasn't that was an onion as far as my there were so many layers like the judge asking, okay, why do you give that out of ten? And just like the guy sets down an onion on the table, it's like, what's your rating? It's an onion. It's an onion. It's. I'm afraid, honey. It's an onion. I guess that's. I just say that's when we describe really bad forty percent. What it says? Oh, that was an onion. Now we need. Now we can have an onion emote. Go spam. Plant now we can spam, in another people's chat. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I won't, I'll stop being a dick. Glass Kitten 32. 
How come there wasn't any more face-off episodes? I thought it was a fun concept and would love to see more of it. Additionally, what was what exactly was the background for some of the early podcasts? We didn't. I'm gonna speak on this one before you because you're below me. <laughs> As in, then set out the layout of the podcast like you're below me. Mm -hmm. I sorry. I, I, this is an underutilized quote of yours. I really like that one. <laughs> there's, just, there's so many people below us. Yeah. There's so many people. They're all below us. Uh, personally speaking, I just don't like competitive games that much. I much rather, I greatly prefer cooperative games to competitive. I feel, yeah, I think, at least for me, it was fun to try, but I feel like that's not what we kind of go for. I feel more... It's, it's too serious. It's too, yeah, because we're more fun. Ha I think Face Off isn't cancelled, though. I've been trying to th contemplate if we could do Face Off, but in like a different way. If it's like a fun... Like we do, I think I said this before, but like face off where it's like, oh, maybe a fun thing. Oh my god, damn! <laughs> <laughs> oh, for me, it just broke down when he broke the camera. It's just stuck there. It was, <laughs> literally, just... it was literally just. <laughs> do you fart? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think uh, Face Off maybe be like a more try to bring it in a fun way maybe like sort of a fun challenge if that makes sense or like have a or like have like a gimmick attached to a game where it's so something I'd much rather Face Off be less of an us versus each other and maybe it's just like a stupid challenge series yeah that's what I mean like a, like oh can you or it, it's not like me versus you it's just like that yeah it's, it's one of us against the game with some stupid stipulation attached to it like that... oh play through dark souls again but this time you're not allowed to use the left half of your controller that's what okay you explained it because i i'm fucking retarded and can't speak that's what i was trying to get at where it'd be like oh yeah can you beat super mario 64 but before i shove this entire banana up your ass or something like that like <laughs> dan is frozen again <laughs> Which will happen first? Will Austin finish making an apple pie or will Alex beat Mario 64? Yeah, like stuff like, or can you beat this, this level of fucking Black Hawk down? That's a movie, not a game. Can you beat the first level of Black Hawk down? <laughs> can you beat my Black Hawk down? <laughs> Oof. Stuff, yeah, that's what I'm trying to... I think we'll do face off like that, like challenges. And if we do it, maybe it's like, um, fuck, what was I just, I just forgot what I was going to say again. Jesus Christ. Never mind. We'll bring it back. Maybe it's like an occasional thing. I it's think, like a, a funny little extra thing. Sometimes when we run out of ideas and aren't funny anymore. When we have like an, yeah, if we have an idea, I think though face off will be more like a, a lot of things where, okay, when we we're streaming more, we have more of an established audience and someone could be, I think, because that could be fun, like a challenge where people recommend challenges where it's like, okay, have Alex, can he buy a $19 Fortnite card before he gets blocked? <laughs> like, stuff like that. And I'd be like, oh, this is re come recommendation from uh, Lolly Enjoyer. Oh, thank you, Lolly Enjoyer. We're going to do... <laughs> hey, I can... There was That's literally... one of our fans. Yes, Lolly Enjoyer is one of our fans. Yeah. I saw it. But yeah. honestly, for Face Off, uh, I'm actually really into right now, recently, Dark Souls 3 challenge runs. Oh. I've done quite a few of those. Yeah. So that'd be a cool way to start off. I can sh I can show how adept I am at being Dark Souls 3 with a with daggers. Yeah. Instead of real weapons. I think we said that, I think we had this conversation before about wanting to do that with Face Off, but we're just kind of we're just doing focusing right now. I'm doing our playthroughs and. I think once we yeah. get to a point where we're like, oh, we're streaming well, most days of the week or something like that, we can have, like, gimmick days, if that makes sense. More like gimmick days. Yeah, but what I'm saying is eventually when we do do Dark Souls, because <laughs> we're going to do it eventually, do, do. expect me to do a stupid challenge. Yeah. that would Something. Have, and I like that, because that means I can click make the title. Like, can he, get, will this banana go in his ass and nose at the same time before he can beat the first box, 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 the first box? He's going to fight a <laughs> box. A box? <laughs> Can he get V bucks in Dark Souls? I can be the <laughs> make that the title of this podcast. Get V bucks in Dark Souls. <laughs> also, there's the uh, the background of the early podcast. Oh, the background. Of, I'm, I assume you mean not the 
trippy one that I edited now. I assume you mean like the actual videos. Those were just old uh, 90s like video game commercials. Like I know there was uh, Hey You Pikachu. There was um, a Crazy Taxi one. I will literally just take those commercials and put them on repeat until the I'm end out of water. To the end of time. It's a uh, bird. It's a plane. It's Daddy's gummies. What's your favorite type of cookie? Ecky cookie. <laughs> I had the exact same thought. I like sugar cookies. I'm a classic chocolate chip, don't get blocked kind of guy. <laughs> I like chocolate Ooh. chip. I like men and chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Nice. I, I, I want to say, though, I think Oatmeal Raisin gets too much hate. Yeah. I think, like, people always say, like, ew, Oatmeal Raisin. It's like, I, I'm an Oatmeal Raisin cookie enjoyer, all right? I, get, <laughs> I think the issue people have with it is when they oh, think when they, they're getting yeah. a... I like, I'm sure people do like the cookie, but it's when you think you're getting something else, but you get the thing, is when people have the problem. Well, read the well no, they're like, yeah, it's, it's raisin. They put it back like... Little bitch, give me that. Yeah, give me that. Delicious. Give me your cookie. Slot that in my nose. Yeah. Oh, save this for later. Uh, put it, put it in my foreskin. <laughs> store the. Make sure to store all your oatmeal cookies in your foreskin for later. Keeps then it, it gets extra cheese. <laughs> extra cheese and keeps it warm. Uh, uh Braden uh, Caitlin. Let's move on. Yeah. Or kite lad. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Fuck you. Recently, I came into the misfortune of beginning high, high school. school. Oh no, someone, oh no, he's like a 13 year old watch. Oh. oh, well, it's the right age for our humor. Oh, I thought, okay, you said the right age. I was, I got like a little nervous there. <laughs> All right, Alex, I didn't know you were a Smash Bros player. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming out as a professional Smash Brothers player. Uh, and COVID has made a pretty bad situation for me worse. I have a few questions relating to this. Is there any general advice for Phil in high school? What was your high school experience like? What are you things you what are the things you're glad you did and wish you did different? Did I have a stroke reading that? What are things you glad you did and wish you did different? So it's like, which things are... Okay, which things are things that you glad you did and which one... You wish you did. did. Yeah. You ever think that you dream and I wish you could <laughs> that... Ever had a dream where you could wear... <laughs> <laughs> and how would you feel about doing the whole Zoom bullshit if you were still in? I just want to say I'm fucking glad I'm out of high school at this point. Like, uh, I want to be in high school in COVID. I didn't no, Jesus Christ, in Minecraft. Because at least college where that, that reminds me, I saw, I saw something. Real quick aside on the in Minecraft. Yeah, it was. It's it's some part of like some kind of study or something. It's got that little like two notation oh, for the yeah. like, excerpts. Yeah. Minecraft is a video game. Based on information provided by the FBI, the government understands that it is common for persons discussing criminal activity online to refer to such activities as occurring in Minecraft. It's oh my god! I saw activity. this on Twitter today. I saw that on fucking Twitter today because I we we well, we did that meme too. Where it's like so we say like, oh, kill yourself, but in Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, back to high school COVID. Yeah. I think I'm I'm glad. Well, first off, I'm glad I'm out in general. But especially, I couldn't imagine the shit going through. I will give you the biggest piece of advice. I think it's going to be hard for you at the time, but it's definitely something that I realize now. All, like, the things that you think, like, the problems you have with high school and, like, sort of, especially with, like, social cliques, it won't matter that much. Like, I think a lot of people, when they go to high school, they're very much so, like, oh, I gotta be this, I gotta be that, where it's, like, really, really, you should just be, like, enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm just gonna say that I was, I was definitely the weird kid. Yeah, like the weird kid, the loser guy. And I mean, I had a good time in high school. Everyone else says how much they hated high school. Like, I had a real good time in high school. Mine was just, I felt like I was, for me at least personally, I didn't hate or anything. I was just kind of like, I just don't want to do this really. I was fucking vibing. I, I, yeah, I, you know what I was thinking about too. This is, uh, uh, for us, me, me, fuck. Me, uh, hold on. Me, you, fuck. Hold on. I gotta, res I gotta reset. I gotta reset. We gotta put more juice in them. More robot juice in our chips. It's okay. the flavor. Okay, I'm back. But I think, um, 
I just forgot what I was gonna say now. Fuck me. <laughs> All right, we uh, we hard reset him to factory default. All right, yeah. We, uh, da, 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 da. uh, what were we talking about? High school. Uh, High school. Hold on. Hold on. Say more things cool. as I try right. to think. I mean, honestly, this whole Zoom thing is just complete garbage. Yeah. It's, yeah. I don't want to say more because we'll get banned. Because if you say anything that disagrees with the mainstream narrative on COVID, you get banned. In fact, we're already demonetized for saying COVID. So. I call it the crown. Crowning? Honestly. Like, if. Honestly, you could probably just cut this out of the YouTube because we're going to get banned if we put this in. From uh, this year, the specific part. As far uh, uh, like other stuff, I think, yeah, general advice don't. Like, don't get blocked, but also, don't like, get blocked. I feel like all, also it's way worse, too, for younger people, because we got out right before the whole, like, generation where it's, like, your living is basically just, all it is is just how popular are you on social media, like, how many Instagram followers you have. Like, a lot of, like, uh, like people in my family who are younger, it's like, oh, that's the thing, it's like, oh, if you don't have enough followers on Instagram, buddy, you're fucked. And it's just... I if I was a high schooler now, I just delete all my social media. Yeah. Yeah. You okay. will be so much happier if you just don't have it. Yeah, that's true. Also, you're not gonna say as much dumb shit. <laughs> yep. And it it fosters much more personal relationships because if anybody wants to talk to you, they don't like send you a dick pic and a message. They have to show you their dick in real life. Head. They have to. They have to like... physically walk up to you, show you their cock, and give you the message. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, don't overthink Life it. Life in general is a lot more fulfilling if you just get rid of your social media, sure. don't care what other people think, yeah. just, you're gonna be cringe, just accept it. Oh yeah, that's another thing too. You're gonna do cringe things. Everybody fucking does cringe things. There's a lot of stuff, that's just, that's called being human. That's learning. You're gonna do cringe things. And I think too, a lot of, at least for me, there's a lot of things where I felt like, oh my god, I overthought a lot of things. Like, thought it was worse than it is, and don't do that. Just Yeah, high school is one of the few times where it's okay to be cringe, so just enjoy oh, the yeah. cringe while it's... You'll be cringe. Uh, trust me, you're going to think you're... You're also, too, you're going to think you're a lot better, smarter, and, like, cooler than you are. And then and, and then once you get to, like, our age and stuff, you're going to look back and think, I was cringe. Once you get to our age, I can't. you start a YouTube channel and become retarded. <laughs> once you become become retarded autists who literally scream and shit fart make monkey noises and somehow get money off that you know uh like we all do but yeah just be cringe enjoy it and uh make sure also to be just like be really cool fuck the entire cheerleading squad fuck all the football team fuck oh, all dude. the teachers um yeah just fuck man <sighs> People are, in high school, too obsessed with relationships. That is a really good point. I think a lot of people are, like, in Chocolate. high school, a lot of people are just like, I gotta get laid, I gotta get a girlfriend, stuff like that. It's like, no, you yeah. not. No, you it don't. It's all about, like, getting laid, who's dating who, and it just, like, it doesn't fucking matter. Especially, I think it's really stupid at that age, because that's the age where you're supposed to sort of discover yourself as a human and be alone. And by that, I mean, you just jerk off. To, like, you just... impregnate a 16-year-old, drop out of high school. Yeah, you're supposed to. No. You're supposed to be. And like, I'm saying like I'm not. I'm not saying like me do. I'm saying like other high schoolers. Just don't take that out of context. What yeah. I said. Yeah. Don't. The last thing you want to do is drop out of high school because then you don't have an education because you don't have a high school diploma. No one's gonna hire you for a job mm -hmm. because that's the new basic standard for like manual labor is high school educated. So just stay in school. Get the diploma. Yeah. So you can fuck bitches later. I think, yeah, when you should be... I think, yeah, being focused on relationships and sort of, you know, fucking and stuff like that. I think that's more, like, around this time period college. Where high school, I think, yeah, people get way too obsessed. Like, well, no, that's a time period for you to figure yourself out. Like, okay, what what things am I into? Am I going to jerk off for... Because you are hours? definitely going to be a very different person at the end of high school. Oh, absolutely. So don't focus on that. And everyone else around you is focused on relationships and all this. Mm. But actually be a less mature than you who would be more focused on finishing their high school education Fish, fin get so even if it seems like yeah. they're better than you they're not it's really not and then you think about it where 
I think, yeah, for us, uh, for, uh, fuck, I can't speak. Um, for a lot of people, it's like that where it's like, oh, I'm not fucking, I'm not getting fucking all these fucking high school girls, uh, hot, yeah, yeah, hot fucking babies getting fucked in the blinded bleachers where it's like reality. Who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. A lot of those people who, there's that whole peak in the high school thing where it's like a lot of people who are focused on just being cool and stuff like that. They, yeah, it's just they fuck up their lives horribly, and it's just yeah. that's because that's the end. Though. All we're saying is, if you jerk off for 13 hours straight, you're not gonna get anyone pregnant. Yeah, you can't get. Don't you know shoes can't get pregnant? Yeah, <laughs> you could maybe you can grow a few mushrooms if you want, but my son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the worst my fucking post I think I've ever seen. But... <laughs> is this, am I technically a father? Uh, yeah, I think it's what I'm saying. It's just to be vibe as fuck. You could be the weird kid. It's more yeah. fun. Uh, don't care what other people do. Don't care about their relationships. Because they're gay and fake. True. And I think also you don't realize people who... Even people who care for a lot of like what you were in high school. When you grow up and move out and stuff like that. They're not going to care anymore. Like a lot of people, what you, people thought of you in high school, they don't give a shit anymore. They're like, they're all doing your own thing. It's just, it's really stupid. And I think people, because, well, I understand why, because that's, that's all you have at that point, but it's not going to yeah. matter really. It really won't. I interact with very few of the people in my high school on a regular basis. Yeah. Mostly because I them. moved to Ohio. I have, I think, like, honestly, since we graduated, I haven't talked to, like, a single one outside of, like, the people I know. Oh, actually, no, there was, like, two or three, but it's, like, I don't, I don't, it might sound bad, but a lot of people, it's just, like, I don't give really give a shit. <laughs> like, it's... It's really weird, because occasionally when I was in PIB, I'd hang out with some of my friends there, and, like, we'd be going around, like, at the mall or whatever, pre-COVID, mm. checking out some sick stores for some sweet... $19 Fortnite cards. Fuck yeah. And we'd see someone working at the store and be like, oh, that's that was once, like, the popular kid. And they'd be like, oh, hey. Yeah. Hey, Alex. And I'm like, yeah, we've, like, never talked in the four years we've known each other. Yeah. Sorry, it's that, like it's four years of high school. Five years technically in our high school. But it'd be, like, someone you I've known since, like, third grade. Yeah. Technically known of. But it's just... Dude, that Dan guy, right? Yeah, like, honestly, after high school, all high school relations immediately stop mattering. Yeah. <laughs> they just all break apart. I'll say that, too. That's after, like, like, a month. That was also, too, when I think the drawing things, at least for me, when I went first but with college, where it was, like, all the cliques and stuff like that, a lot of, like, the high school stereotypes, it's, like, that just all fucking goes away. Like, everyone is just, like... Yeah. Like, no one's like, oh, we're the jocks, we're this and that. Everyone's just like, I fucking hate my life, I'm in debt. And I don't have any money for food. Anyway, let's go. Let's go to dick sucking class or something. Yeah, and like everyone has no friends. Yeah, no one has any. That's the beautiful part. You think it'd be really easy to make friends, but no one makes friends with each other just because everyone's just like. Everyone just walks around not talking to anyone else. Yeah. And just looks sad all the time. <laughs> I make friends. Bullshit. Shut up, loser. Get the fuck out of here. Look at you and your <laughs> friends. All right. Yeah, get out of here. You're not a pro joker. <laughs> You're not a joker I, like us. I, 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 He's I, part I, of the joking club at my local campus. I can't. And are the only two members. Mom, you don't understand. I can't have friends. I have to spend this time joking. <laughs> I like how we. the only times we talked about joking was the first time we played Terraria. And then like four months later when we returned to Terraria. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> the like, joking cycle was completed. It's like poetry, it rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like joking, it rhymes. I don't know. I just imagine like competitive joking, like, oh fuck, I just almost like ripped, like literally just ripped my entire computer so setup down. <laughs> uh, but like, I just imagine like someone's just like joking. There's like a referee standing by, just like looking at him, like, oh, oh, oh. that's jerking off. That's he's not almost, he's he's on the border of using the illegal joking technique to maximize volume. <laughs> Here we go. I actually I saw that too. I saw it was like a it was a subreddit where it was like, oh my god, Dan just <laughs> <laughs> he just teleported in. What the fuck, dude? But I saw like there's a, literally a subreddit dedicated to joking techniques. It was like I saw a post where it was like optimization, like min maxing joking. 
<laughs> joking speed run, getting my cock to 12 inches quickest. It was just like, it was like, here's the thing, it works, it works, but you gotta, you know, do it at this speed, only this amount of time of day, in the sunlight, uh, make sure it's not on the third Thursday of April or something like that. Like, it's, <laughs> I'm just like, why the fuck? I mean, it's the internet, why am I? Anyway, make sure you joke in high school. <laughs> That's important. Uh, also, don't watch any weird porn at this age. You're not. Oh ready for yeah, age. I. That's a thing too. Because at that age, I think a lot that happened with me where I'm like, I'm just gonna watch it because it's funny or just experiment, and then you just oh, accidentally developed a fetish for that. Whoops. I stick to normal stuff or maybe like thick thighs or something. Yeah. Something harmless. Feet. Epic. <laughs> Feet detected. Epic Mango 26. Oh, can I just say, that actually reminded me the other day, where, like, I think Katie was, like, putting her shoes or something like that, and I said out loud, FEET DETECTED! <laughs> I, I, that's, that's the problem with us doing this shit, where I'll say stuff like that out loud, or, I don't remember one, like, this was a couple weeks ago, where she said something about, like, like, that's being suspected, and I said, like, SUS AMUNGUS, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, occasionally I've thought in my head, like, feet detected when somebody mentioned something about feet, just like, whatever. And my head just goes, feet detected. That's the I've I... never just shouted out, like, an absolute smooth brain. <laughs> it's the autism. Just... I almost, one of my favorite, uh, well, not favorite moments. I remember me and my mom were going, we were about to cross a bridge, and I almost said out loud, oh, I'm gonna have a heated gamer moment. <laughs> out loud. <laughs> You should have just skipped it and said the N word. I, I was literally about to say, I, uh, what a fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, make sure you Epic joke and have autism. <laughs> no, high school. <laughs> joke in the comment section. <laughs> Any jokers? <laughs> we need a joking emote. What's some of your favorite and least favorite ice cream flavors? Hot take, by the way, mint chocolate chip is good and doesn't deserve the hate it gets. Epic Mango, Europe based. Uh, and mint chocolate chip is in fact good. It is. I don't understand because I get mint chocolate chip a lot of times because it is fucking good. It's a great combination. I like I like banana. Ooh, banana. I like <laughs> banana and stuff. But the problem I saw a funny post about this was like you could add like three truckloads of strawberry to something or like a dozen fruit, but you add like a millimeter banana, it's gonna taste like fucking banana. <laughs> Like banana is such an overpowering, but I like I like banana personally. I like mint chocolate chip. I like uh, black raspberry because uh, I'm black and I'm a raspberry. Um, what the fuck was that? I like how Dan just left the podcast. Yeah, Dan. Someone setting up fireworks or something out there. I don't know. Someone on fire out there. Someone Hang on fire. On. Oh, I got 420 fucking smoking the Mary Jane. I usually, I like, I grab for something either fudgy or banana. I always go. I either get a really fruity flavor or a more chocolate based flavor. Never I, straight chocolate. I, I, don't, I don't like straight chocolate ice cream. I don't, I like, if I getting something, I like it fruity. All right, Austin's a fruit. Uh, Dan. Yeah. Ice cream. You know, I think my favorite flavor has got to be bubblegum. Oh, that's good. Uh, I feel like I've, I heard bubblegum, but I never see it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, you only ever stuff. see it at, like, actual ice cream stands. And only yeah. then, it's sometimes. There was this, uh, when I lived in Arizona, the, the pool you would go to had a little ice cream shop, and they had bubblegum. And it, it was... It had even little bits of bubblegum in it, which is really nice. And they discontinued it because people were you know, being jerks about it and just <laughs> the ice cream and then spit out all the pieces of bubblegum over the sidewalk. People were jerking off to the bubblegum. I'm in love with the, with the bubble. You have a problem. Uh, listen, yeah, I'm not you, you eat all the ice cream, then you wear, you wear the, the cone as a little penis hat. <laughs> but you, you can, after you eat the ice cream, you can use the... Waffle cone as a hat. Yeah, that's what I said. I d yeah, I just why did I just fucking repeat what you said exactly? <laughs> I just, you just have to say the joke louder, Austin. We know how it is. Do you, actually, you know what's actually a fun fact? If you eat the ice cream, you can put it on your head as a hat. Did you know that? If you eat the ice cream, oh. I can eat your ice cream. 
If you eat ice cream, you eat ice cream. That's our next Thanks. question. I want that as like a Skyrim tip, like menu tip. <laughs> if you eat ice cream, you eat ice cream. Low key, one of the best Skyrim mods is sarcastic loading screens. Oh. It, it just pops and says stuff like horkers are useless. One of the best Skyrim mods is uh, Sex Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I don't know the actual mod name, but. The Big Boobas. Big bo I like playing Skyrim because I can end the big bajungas get fucked by a horse. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, Spectre Star 15. Opinion on the band Green Day. I'm gonna get some water. Uh, I feel like there was this weird thing where people really fucking hated them. Oh. Oh. Um. Alex is dead. I'm not gonna say anything. Dan, why are you frozen? Again? Oh, no, you're not. You're just not moving. Just not moving. Do you think if you don't move, we won't be able to see you? Oh, now you're oh you froze for a second there. I think Green... I like Green Day. There's not much to say, really, I guess. I mean, j just wake me up when September ends, right? I don't get it. Okay. Anyway, Alex is water Any jokers in chat? Any fucking jokers, dude. Uh, uh, Alex's water bottle. What's your opinion on Green Day? Sticking with my addiction, I have watermelon slices here. I, you need to see them. I have... Uh... Fuck, I'm gonna eat one. I have epic sunglasses. Hell yeah. Got a note. Uh, a box. Sticky notes. What? Sticky notes. That's pretty cool. Don't read what it says. God, I want so bad to be in a situation where I could have like sunglasses and I get to go. Like that. I have no strong opinion on the bank green day. Come and jar without the jar. Hell yeah. Remember when Austin said in a podcast that he would time code segments so we could find specific parts if, he, if we wanted to and he didn't do that? Yeah, pretty cringe moment. Honestly, it sounds like a huge pain in the ass, so uh, I'm not, I don't blame him. It is a huge pain in the ass, and the reason why I didn't do it because I said I came up with the idea where I putting out podcasts like a day or so after they happen. So there's no way I'm going to do it. If someone in the audience wants to, you can, but I think that's more of like because I see that happen in a lot of other channels when they be like, "Oh, time codes for people who want to know." So, they suck dick at five twenty. Yeah. Uh, um, so if like Pie Cake or something like that wants to do it, they can. But I'm not fucking doing it. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't have blame you at all. Yeah. Nathan Smith. Were any of the boys on Newgrounds back in the day? What are some of the sites you guys you guys used? Uh porn.com. <laughs> Welcome to porn dog. Honestly, I was I didn't really I didn't have a computer for a long ass time, so I was never really that was never really my thing. Yeah, because for well I used Newgrounds more so when I was like a preteen teenager. But for a long time growing up, it was like you. Most people just had like the one family computer. You couldn't really do too much on that. It was just like, oh, go to yeah. Nick Nicktoons Nick dot com and play like Flash games or something. I definitely I, I was aware of Newgrounds, but I didn't use it. I used it a bit, uh, like when I was like twelve, thirteen ish, but not. It's also we're a little bit young for that because I think Newgrounds was more like kid, kids who were like early night born in the early nineties and stuff there's like a lot of 9-11 stuff on <laughs> wow you're a robot that one person who made the reddit post where they didn't see any robots or jews well guess what here you go next up's a reddit comment oh from beef lemon hammer Ooh. An important question that needs to be asked and answered, as this is a test for who you guys truly are as human beings. What do you put on your hot dog? Oh, this is going to cause nothing. some controversy. Dan says nothing, because that's classic Dan move. Yeah. Uh, I'm real just ketchup and mustard guy. I'm not a big mustard person, but I'll put like ketchup and relish. You know what's actually something that is weird, but I tried it and it's good? Barbecue sauce on your hot dog good dan how's come you're against you're racist against sauces 
I just don't think they're good. You're a fucking liar. You're lying to yourself, you know that? You need to no, I'm not. You need to open up your third eye. <laughs> you having fun there? <laughs> <laughs> I I feel so bad for the people who are like audio only listeners, because <laughs> this is this you're missing an experience right now. You're watching a, as a blind a blind lumber sexual sits there while a, a man freezes and another man is voring watermelon. Uh, sorry, I just had one that I couldn't contain myself any <laughs> longer. Fucking... I had to fucking devour like four watermelon slices. It was like watching, like, you see those videos where it's like a snake eats an entire, like, antelope hole. <laughs> antelope. I have a problem. Yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mario Judah Cream Pie compilation number 13. <laughs> if you guys had to live in either Los Angeles or New York, which one do you choose? That's, a, uh, oh, that's an easy one, New can York. I, can I choose the Crave? I feel like, no, I feel like New York is a way better than Los Angeles. New, New York, York is better than LA, but it's it's not good. I feel, okay, New York is shit, but at least, here, here's my argument for New York. It's shit, but it knows it's shit. Like, if you ever meet someone from New York, you're like, yeah, this is a shithole, there's rats everywhere. Welcome to New York, where LA, they're extremely pretentious about it and think they're better than they are. That's why I would choose New York every day. I would fucking kill myself in Minecraft before living in Los Angeles. I don't want to live in either. It's also crazy fun. Like, it's so... I don't understand why... Unless you're, like, really rich to live in either of those places. I'd rather live in the middle of nowhere in Utah than New York. Utah isn't real. Utah doesn't exist. Well, in fact, there's no such state as Wyoming. <laughs> why? Oh, man. Abraham Lincoln. Milf Hunter. Hell yeah, dude. I've kind of felt like recently video games have just not been doing it for me, and something that was once really enjoyable and a way of getting rid of stress just doesn't elicit any positive emotions. I've heard about this from other people online. Have you had this problem? Yes. I've had that yeah problem a bit. I think Robot Juice has done a good job. <laughs> I just looked at myself in the fucking webcam. <laughs> I know. I'm trying not to look at you. <laughs> you look like a fucking degenerate monkey man. Anyway, um, because <laughs> uh, <laughs> the glasses like make me look like I'm a blind person. <laughs> Sorry, I just sucked some water into my soft, my fucking lungs. I feel like, um, personally, I've I've definitely had that feeling where you just like <laughs> games don't do it for me anymore. I feel like Robot Juice has really helped fix that a lot for me. Uh, I went through, like, a mate. I actually talked about this on Robot Juice, on a podcast. Yeah. One Towards the... the beginning of Robot Juice? Yeah, I think it was, like, episode three or four, if I remember right. Yeah, we've had this conversation before. Honestly, when it comes to this, it's probably depression. If I had to guess, it's, yeah. it's probably depression. I'm not, I'm not a therapist or psychologist or, like, professionally trained in any field. Uh, but it's probably depression. That's my that's that's my yeah. bet. I'm putting on the table, all in. I think too. Even if you're not like, even if someone's not like actually depressed, you still have. I feel like everyone has moments where they go through like at least stuff like that where you do become shit and fart. It's and, a feeling like, of ennui, I believe is the word. Yeah, uh, but basically what we're also saying is we're only in this for the money, nothing else. We're here to make our money and jelk and move on. Honestly, uh, Robot Juice does help with this, but yeah. what I found is, obviously you can tell from the game slide, I, I like these really obscure indie games. Sometimes you find a really good ones, and that is really, like, that's what I'm doing. When I get, like, a good indie game that I can sort of, like, dig into, especially if it's, like, longer, like, mm -hmm. it's like, Omori was... Like, that was good. I spent, like, a good 50 hours playing through that game, like, twice and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. But something like the Botomy Corporation that was so much longer, like, 88 hours or something like that. And it was good, and I could get a, like, dig into it. That was... 
that really I've thought that was the first time why I thought I found like a game that interested me and made me feel like I was having fun. I feel like yeah, that's part of me too. Is I feel like a lot of more newer games I just don't feel the desire to play. Like I remember too uh, when like Valorant started popping up and being a game. I'm like I I don't understand the appeal of this at all. Like I have no desire, and I see a lot of newer games where I'm just like I don't have I don't want to play that. I think that kind of hasn't helped. Yeah. Uh, like I ask. said, my advice is find something that interests you. Yeah. A sort of weird, obscure game you wouldn't have thought to try. Yeah, go I mean, I, going out of your give, way and try new shit. Yeah, fuck you, Alex. I'm interrupting you. But going out of your way to try new shit also is poggers. Yeah, I guess if I were to give a recommendation, I would say try Lobotomy Corporation, because that's what did it for me, and I really liked it. It's not for everyone, but hey, it, was, it worked for me. I like that game. Yeah. There's some cool stuff. There was, uh, I think I said, I mentioned this before, but if you ever, if uh, you ever try out the game Blasphemous, I really, I think it's, is it Blasphemous? I think uh, yeah, Blasphemous. I yeah, know that game. Yeah, I really like that, and I think I got into That's a that. card game, right? No, or am I? Or I think of some other game that's You're a similar thinking of... name. I th I think I know what you Blasphemous is like a side scroller. I think. There's so many indie games that have such similar names. I get them confused. There's that... some indie game that was a card game that I didn't play because I was playing a different card game at the time. I and feel... that's a similar name. There's so many games like that. Will someone say, well, "Oh, you know about this game?" I'm like, I have no idea what that is, and then I'll see gameplay. I'm like, oh, that game. Like, it's just easier yeah, to yeah. identify them by visuals. I probably it. still know. Is Blasphemous, is that like a Metroidvania type game? I... Or is that a, a different? Yes, yes it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, now I just got confused with some other similar, similarly named indie game. Yeah, it is. I, a... I still know about it. Yeah. It's just, there's too many, too many names for someone as stupid as I am. I know, too, from uh, at least, I think, uh, for Alex, you like the indie games. And for me... I'm starting to realize I like a lot of games where I find like the um, the art style fascinating, where like it really pulls me in, and that's games I'm really enjoying. Where I look at them like, oh, this is different. This is the visuals are really interesting to me. I can see how big the conk is. I can see that that is clearly a person who has jelked. I they have gotten <laughs> results. That's what we need to do. We need to sell supplements for jelking. <laughs> Robot juice store. It also help uh, us. It also one last thing. It also helps if you have friends. I think it <laughs> games become more enjoyable. But I know that's a bit of a games are definitely much more enjoyable if you have someone to talk to them about. Yeah. Honestly, it's like one of the worst feelings when I have a game I want to talk about, but I'm like the only person who's played it in my group of friends, so I don't have anyone to talk to it about. Yeah. Which is why I push on Robo Juice to play games that I had, I wanted to talk about, and just force Austin to look at them so I could talk about them. Yeah, I just sit there jelking, and then there's people in the audience who'd be like, I'm interested in this, and you can talk to them about, why am I so fucking obsessed with jelking tonight? <laughs> I'm not did you ever really take your... Yeah. What? Yes, Frozone. What is your... <laughs> no one... All right, I guess it's nothing. I'm surprised I'm seeing a Carl Pilkington reference on our channel with Carl Kilkington. All right. Thoughts on The Office, UK and or US. Haven't watched it. I I like both. I'm surprised you know about Carl Pilkington, Alex. Oh yeah, it's a it's a Vinny meme. I watch Vinny. Oh okay. You can probably tell with some way sometimes my brain makes really stupid words up. Oh, I I know Carl Pilkington because I like the Ricky Gervais show with Stephen Merchant. Hello. Oh monkey fella. I like yeah, I've watched uh, I watched both. I like them. I know some people shit on the other version because the humors are different, but I think they're both good for what they are. What about you, Dan? What do you feel about British people? Uh, they're they're all okay. You like bean burritos, Dan? I was expecting him to just go. No. They're cringe. Dan, not <laughs> based. Okay. I see how it is. Pie cake three four. Five. Yeah. What's your opinion slash thoughts on Bioshock 4? It's reported to be an open world game, and what are your hopes for it? The Bioshock 4? Yeah. 
They announced it last year, year or year before, I think. Yeah, honestly, uh, open world for me is a bad omen. I Bioshock should not be open world. Bioshock to me is like a pretty linear with how they do their stuff. Yeah, the I, Bioshock, Bioshock One. Just to delve into it, Bioshock One was good because of the confined claustrophobic yes. atmosphere, and Bioshock Infinite was fun because of its diverse gameplay, but it still had a linear progression to it. You mm -hmm. still had a path to go to. It was just like shooting people down your way and using all your cool like powers and whatnot that made it fun. It was having a, a place to go and a goal to do and what you had to do to get there. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, Infinite I think was good in that, whereas like it had an open world feel, but it wasn't actually open world. It did really good balance, but I'm obviously, I'm very skeptical because like very on the edge about this because in the first place I thought okay it's gonna pre uh, have to hit pretty high standards to live up to one and in infinite in my opinion I mean I like two but like one and in infinite to me are like the the big daddies <laughs> get it <laughs> I get it but it I, is funny because it's true I hope that I don't know I might this is very me using some copium right now but maybe they mean open world not in the traditional sense and they're doing something stylized i i mean maybe it work but i'm very like i i saw the headline for that i'm just like oh no we're this is not good boys this is uh i i keep looking at you you're literally a toque and a pair of glasses covering <laughs> over a microphone <laughs> you don't even look like a human hey. uh, guys what is it all right if i go study for a test no, it's not okay. You need to be joking. Yeah, Dan. It's fine. Okay, I'll... Go ahead, my son. Bye. This is the Austin and Alex show. It is now. Am I facing the wrong way? I hope I am. I Am I facing the wrong way? I, I, I think... Oh, we're in the check when the stream updates. Uh, let me... Cause, oh, you are facing the wrong way. But I'm not. Because I'm cool. That's a big oof. Time to crash. Oh, there yes. you go. This is peak performance right here. This is your podcast you've been waiting for. Yeah. Honestly, I hate to say it, but Dan doesn't really add very much. He sh yeah. Well, what we're saying is basically, fuck him. You know, fuck you, Dan. I, I hate to say it, and like, no offense to him, but man, does he not talk a lot. No. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're basically saying, Dan, we're, we're killing Dan tonight. He'll no longer be on the podcast. Bye, everyone. Uh, like Anthony me. Reese. Hello, Anthony. Have you guys ever been camping? What was the experience like, and would you do it again so we could have an official gazed camping stream on the platform? Yeah, I played Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I've been camping. I don't really like camping. Uh, That's sort of my opinion. I think... I oh, fuck, I just almost fell over my chair. Um... I've been camping a few times. I think it's fun. I'm not the. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of like full blown like you gotta live in the woods and drink your own piss type camping. But you know, I'm more of a hiking guy. I th yeah, hiking I think is way more interesting. I don't know. I just like prefer to sleep indoors. Yeah. Yeah. If it was like, oh, someone's like, hey, you want to go for a hike on this trail, or whatever, and we'll after that we'll go, you know. It's fucking to dick sucks outside suck the uh, the outhouse over there. Out, yeah, we'll go to Outback State House and suck each other off in the bathroom. It's like, yeah, I'll do that all the time. I do that every day. <laughs> I'm gonna make you bigger so I can look at you. There, yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful man. Uh, Hello. Oh, but then I can't see myself. Oh well, fuck. You're gonna be cut off slightly. Okay. I feel That's yeah. I'm cutting you off. So camping unlikely. I, I don't think we ever do a camping thing, and I don't. I don't think. I mean, it would be funny because it's like, oh, they're fucking up. They don't know they're gonna get eaten by a, a bear. That'd be funny, but I just don't think it'd be very entertaining because we're not. It it, you know, it would just be outdoors. like we're not outdoors, and yeah, but it's also just be like I feel like it kind of would be boring because like all right, we're just sitting around a fire. All right, now what? There's not much to do. We're here to we're here to jelk. We're here to game. We're the jelk gamers. Camping 
Number 55. Add that. Three. Add that to the merch and official list of what we are. We're the Jelkin Gamers, and you can get your, say, I'm a Jelkin Gamer shirt or something related along those lines in the Roblox Juice merch. Store. I watch Roblox Juice. I Jelk, and I I'm want, gay. You can have, I'm gay, I'm gay and love Roblox Juice, and on the back it says, yeah, I'm a Jelker. <laughs> official Jelker. Official. You get, a little, you get a little pin whenever you buy Robot Juice official merch. Official Jelker. A certificate. Signed by the president. You can hang on your wall. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine us, like, for some reason, like, us going to the White House and, like, the president, like, presenting us with the Jelking Award. <laughs> Pre president Biden. Oh, man. Come on, Corn Pop. I watched your Jelking stream. <laughs> Gayest thing I've ever seen. You really are the gay streamers on the platform. Goddamn, Corn Pop, you can really jelk. I don't and then he falls up some stairs. <laughs> and then he rolls, Sonic rolls, and says, I have to go now, and he Sonic rolls upstairs. <laughs> uh, wow, thank you, Biden. Yeah, thank you, very cool. Epic boss baby. Dude, that's fucking cool. If for whatever reason you had to do a YouTube channel that wasn't gaming related, what would your personal channel be, and what would Robot Juice be? I just, I for some reason, I shut off, and it's like, if for some reason you had to do a YouTube channel. <laughs> if for some reason you had to do YouTube, oh. because you were being theoretically threatened by this man who calls himself Unflavored Chips. Oh. <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> That's a good joke. <laughs> I'm talking your, another child, parent, fuck. Anyway. <laughs> child, oh, I shouldn't say that, child, parent, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Welcome to Epstein Island. Uh. Uh, uh, well, the live stream on MC Island when? Um, <laughs> today, <laughs> right now. I just imagine looking at you through. Yo, guys, what is up? I am here on Epstein Island. <laughs> oh, dude, look over there. It's, it's the ghost of an underage girl. <laughs> oh, no. Calling an underage ghost girl 3 a.m. Anyway, what's the uh, film wasn't gaming related? Oh. Yeah, the YouTube channel isn't gaming related for your personal channel, and what would Robot Juice be? Honestly, the only... I probably would be an ASMR channel. Just fuck it, why not? I feel like if I was doing... That'd be funny, a joke. For my personal channel, it would either be, like, a sports wrestling thing, or, like, a music uh, movie thing. Because that would be fun. And then Robot Juice probably would just be like a podcast show, be a I talk show. Yeah, I think it would just be literally just a full time podcast and do that. Podcasts are probably comedy. Yes. <laughs> but we're not funny. Comedy, because our lives are comedy. Yeah, Robot Juice probably, in my opinion, be. <laughs> podcasts and skits. Yeah. Like a Saturday, Saturday Night Live back when it was good. Oh, God. I tried watching Saturday Night Live recently. I'm just like, oh. It's not good, cause all the all the fucking good people left. Because if you're good yeah. at Saturday Night Live, you have better things to do, essentially. But uh, what was the question? Oh yeah, YouTube channel. We'd just be comedy, and we'd be the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be like that guy who got arrested, who dressed up like the Joker on. Uh, oh, uh, Gypsy Crusader. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm so sad he got arrested. Yeah. He was good for memes. He, I saw him, he was, I'll say, that dude had so many fucking good reaction images. I have my, I had my phone loaded with so many good, good ones I could use for whenever someone's like, like, hey, can you stop joking and I can respond with that image of like him with the gun and be like, no. <laughs> I, uh, I, don't, I don't know why I saw a context of that where someone had that where he's like, he's pointing the gun at the camera and said, show me your feet. <laughs> I need them to chill. <laughs> Kaylee Paulson. Ooh, girl. How far can you squirt? <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. That's it. My absolute favorite Robot Juice moment, moments is when Alex can't remember moments from his life, so Austin ex has to explain them to him. Like, it's a it's a family member <laughs> consulting a dementia patient. <laughs> <laughs> Robot Juice is just... A Autistic schizophrenia and a dementia patient. <laughs> it's just one big advertisement for Alzheimer's research. Essen oh, essentially, yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I like how you can't get rid of the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> They're stuck. <laughs> They're fused to my skull. <laughs> I don't like a push to them. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> like, what do you think that was worth? Like, some other gonna get around the toque. <laughs> well, I was trying to adjust them, but it that. hurt. <laughs> it's even worse. It's like, this is my mask. The mask starring Jim Carrey. <laughs> I am the hipster shades. Uh, I am. I am John Lennon. I am fucking John Lennon. Oh, John. You gotta write another song. No, I'm gonna eat some fucking beans. You think John Lennon ate beans? No. That's right. Honestly, don't don't think he ate beans at all. Probably never. Not. That's why he got. That's why he died because he didn't eat beans. If he would have, if he would have ate beans, then all the beans in his stomach would have been like a layer between him dying. <laughs> he would have protected. <laughs> it's like an airbag. They would have expanded to. To block his death. I just imagine like he gets shot. He's like, oh no, and then just like beans start pouring out. <laughs> I'm losing my beans. And then like Yoko Oto, and then Yoko Oto is like hurriedly like <laughs> like trying to scoop up the beans. He just jam them back in. <laughs> it's like jam. He, he like a can of like uh, like what's it like pork like fucking yeah, like baked beans. Pork and beans just mm. fucking starts guzzling them down. I just imagine it's like you know that whole thing when JFK got assassinated and like Jackie Kennedy's like trying to put like his head back and just like that, but with beans. <laughs> that reminds me. You, you know you see you see, you remember that trend where it was like fixing everything with ramen noodles? Yes. I my favorite image was someone had that where it's like JFK, but they had like the ramen noodle where it's he got shot. <laughs> He's fixed. Works perfectly. It does. The sad part is the raw noodle thing actually does kind of work. I did. I saw that and I'm just like, this shouldn't work, but it does. <laughs> that's the. It's because anyway. it reacts with a super glue. Yeah. React. That's what. David's giant red nose. Thirty three. Hey. hey guys, it's certainly been a while since I've watched the content and been in the community, but I saw that you switched to being robot juice, and the growing numbers, and thought I would give the new stuff a shot. What do you think of the idea of a robot juice Dungeons and Dragons, or just roleplay game in general, on series on the channel? I understand if there's hesitation, uh, but I think it'd be some good content and fans would enjoy it. Glad to see the boys are doing good, and I'm glad to be back in the community. The gay community. The gay community? Yeah, the gayest community on Twitch. Now I'm really hipster with my hat placement. Um, You're getting worse, so not better. Yeah. Is this better? Uh, Ask Jelker, he's back. <laughs> I'm here to jelk. <laughs> Walk through a bank. I'm gonna jelk. I just imagine someone like breaking into a bank. It's like, all right, everybody, I'm gonna jelk. <laughs> Put your hands in the air and watch me jelk. <laughs> no, no, you can't jelk. And he just like points the gun at a clerk. Give me the lube. <laughs> no, no, well, anything but that. <laughs> Um, that that title of this podcast is the Masked Jelker. <laughs> That's our new character, the Masked Jelker. He just walks in. And he's just like, I'm here, I'm here to jelk. <laughs> I'm here. Any jelkers in chat? You're in a bank in chat. <laughs> We're gonna live stream us robbing a bank. <laughs> uh, but honestly, with like the Dungeons and Dragons, like. It's mostly just me and Austin. You can't really do any sort of tabletop roleplay game like that with just two people. Because that... you always have to have, like, one person who just runs everything. Mm -hmm. And having... Like, even for... just using D&D &D as an example. You need, like, at least three people to have a functioning party. Yeah. So that's a minimum of four people. We that... can't get... We can't get four people on a podcast. Mm -mm. That's the problem. I remember uh, uh, when we were doing Outsiders Gaming, we had plans. Because we had plans where we would do, like, different scenarios. Like, oh, uh, steampunk or cyberpunk or high school or something like that. A jelking convention. It's like different. Honestly, if we we did do it, we could do... It could, just because you mentioned high school or something. Because it would lack, like life or death situations we it could work with one person because it'd just be like it'd be me obviously as the as the gm mm -hmm. and like you as the player making like shit make comfort the high schooler who's like a level one rogue or something stupid i feel yeah if we if we could i would absolutely uh, say us when we get uh to point like oh this is green light and we'll do like seasons where like oh this season's this scenario this season's that but the problem is for us doing like full-blown games is no one shows it would, up. 
it would take a lot of work. And even if I did, because if we went with that idea and it was just Austin playing a character and I built a world around him, I would have to make all of the characters. I have to make yeah. the relations, the world, like the point. Like, what would be the point of the thing? Mm -hmm. Like, just going through high school, I guess? If, I don't know. If there ever does become a point where we, for some reason, can, I think it would be great for us to do. But I, I, I mean, it's funny because you're like, oh, hang on. Uh, what do I, what what check do I need to make to jelk on the bathroom? You're like, okay, that's going to be a dexterity check. Yeah. If we, that, <laughs> I, I oh, you that, failed points of wisdom damage. That'd be great, yeah, if we, if we could. But, I mean, knock on wood, maybe sometime, but. Yeah, it, it'd be a lot of work on my end, because I'm <gasps> probably the Fuck. only person in this group that has experience running games like this and i'm not great at them i'm not mm. great at running games but i can do it yeah oh you know too someone's gonna complain like oh you didn't do this right you didn't do that right you know yeah but if we do a stupid scenario like you're a D, &D character in high school i don't think it'd matter that much if the rules were kind of fucked i feel like that would for me at least that would be the appeal is it's just like stupid characters just in dumb situations and that would be the interest Ah yeah. oh, yes, you got caught joking in the bathroom by the teachers. You got a new nickname. You're now the Jelkman. I just imagine like I, like you do some role and it's like oh the, the teacher joins in or else like they fucking kill you <laughs> with a tomato can, <laughs> a can of tomato soup. I mean that could be like a highlight moment. Like you actually start a fight with a school bully. He asks like GM like. Uh, I look around, is there anything I use a weapon? I'm like, no, there's nothing really. Because the, the school has recently switched to using the stupid paper trays of styrofoam uh, ones that break. Those <laughs> fucking but suck. There's still a tomato soup can from your lunch. And you're like, oh, I grab that and start beating him with it. That could be, that'd be a funny moment, but you know. Hmm. Also, good to see you back, David. Good to see you back, man. Goofy fuck my wife. Oh, no. How many levels of irony are you on right now? I don't know. I'm like lost. I don't know who the real me is anymore. I am the irony. I'm an iron. Your clothes will have no wrinkles. Uh, John Kijert. He doesn't guess. What's your first and your favorite video game console? Oh. First, Game Boy. Uh, for me, my first was PlayStation 1. Favorite. PC. Oh, okay. I guess PS2 for me. I remember, though, a distinct thing with when I had the PS1 where the analog sticks were, like, really sticky for some reason. I don't know how they got incredibly sticky. And they were just, like, bent, completely broken. PS1 doesn't have analog sticks. Uh-uh. Posting cringe, Alex. No, no, no. The first version of the PlayStation 1 didn't release in 1994, but the one released in 1997 did. Wow, that's cringe. Yeah. Uh, fisting is $300. Don't get blocked. <laughs> what would the Robot Juice theme park look like? Uh, death slides. Um, joking. Tense. I imagine everything would be eye searingly orange and blue. True. To a, to a point that's disorienting. It's, it's hard to know where you are or where you're going. There's a naked oily man running around. Jelking, you know. There's a funnel cake, but instead of funnel cake, it's just shit. Just little, like, rolled out pieces of shit. Deep fried. Uh, that'd be a cool roller coaster. I don't know. <laughs> the fist. Dan was gonna, like, open a zoo. That's more his thing. Yeah. John Carmeal. Were you guys ever fans of Call of Duty, and what would you say are the chances that we see it on the channel someday? I was a fucking Call of Duty uh, f yeah. I used to play Call of Duty. I was uh, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. I was my Call of Duty. Modern Warfare 2 and uh, Black Ops 1 was mine. Like In Call of Duty, I was always a bigger fan of like the, uh, the semi-auto weapons. Oh, yeah. Like the FAL. That was one of my go-tos. MP5 was another favorite of mine. Mm, oh, the M well, the MP5 is legendary, man. That's a fucking... 
Uh, I see on the channel, probably, you know. I don't see a reason why not. We're gonna get destroyed at it. Unless we do a campaign. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. But, like, who cares about campaign? That's the problem. That's the, yeah, that's the fucking problem with that. It was like, you won't have I to... enjoyed the campaign. I like the campaign. Well, I did like a campaign for a lot of those games. I remember, too, for, like, MW3. Was it MW3 or was it Ghosts? I think when I played one of the last games I played, I was like, oh, this is fun. I can't remember. They're all the same. I'm racing towards all just Call of same. Duty. Among Us Porn Enjoyer. Thank you, Among Us. Among Us. What's something from the, the old school internet days you wish is still a thing today? Uh, I, I wish the problem... I liked the uh, um, gaslighting people was a lot easier. Like, you see the story and you'd be like, oh, is this real? Is this not? But now it's... Also, too, what really sucks is whenever you can't, like, send troll links to people anymore. Like, you can't... Because of preview. Yeah, because of preview. So, like, I can't be like, here, Alex, here's the thing to this, week, this week's podcast. Oh, it's Meat Spin. It sucks, man. Uh, I, I miss the kind of, like, weird culture of the older days of, like, the fake gaming news. Yeah. Like, oh, unlocking, unlocking Luigi and Bioshock? The Bowser Room? <laughs> I like, uh... Mario's Jelking Chamber? It, it was a bit fun, because early internet was just, like, the wild, wild west. <laughs> it really was just a it was lawless really, land. It was fun to look and experience all those things. We, you became a man on the internet. Oh, yeah. You know, like, real... you know, like... Yeah, like, meat, spin, rick, roll, uh, two girls, one cup, one guy, one jar, uh, live leak... <laughs> One anime figure in one jar. Yeah. You know what my favorite thing, too, is whenever you see, like, something really cursed on 4chan, and then there'll be, like, someone be like, I reversed image search this, zero results, and it's just like, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that That's, like, the newest trend of, like, reverse image search to get zero results, you know, something fucked's going down. <laughs> yeah, someone's like, oh, I covered this entire uh, Mega Man figure and catch him and shove it up my ass, and it's like... Reverse image search? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Oops. Oh. Uh, Lizard Cory. Have you guys had the pleasure of playing Cyberpunk 2077? And what are your thoughts on it? I didn't play it, but I saw a lot of videos on it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it, it was a mess. It... <laughs> uh, yeah. After, it I... needed another year in the oven. Yeah. I I felt I th that was just ha that whole game though was was just handled so poorly, like yeah. It, it sucks too because I feel like I was a bit I was excited but I knew like I'm not gonna get myself really hyped on on this because I know if I do I'm gonna get disappointed. So it wasn't yeah. like I felt too disappointed. It, honestly, to me it was kind of like it sucks, but it was like funny. Yeah, I looked at it and just kind of knew that okay, it's gonna be one of those games that's just disappointing. Yeah. There's no way it's gonna live up to this hype. I knew it was gonna be disappointing. I didn't think it'd be that bad. I did. I but. thought it was just gonna be like, honest to God, I thought this was gonna come out and it's gonna be really mediocre and people would be like, "Oh, remember Cyberpunk? Oh yeah, I completely forgot what happened to that." But it was just like, "Oh no, it's like." It was a train wreck. It was like Bethesda looked at that and went, "Damn, how do you do that?" Bethesda looked like, "Wait a minute, you can release a game in that state? Yeah. Hang Wait on, we've been doing so much work." Wait a minute. Todd Howard's just fucking pissed off. He's punching dry punching wall in his dry hole. Yeah, he's eating drywall. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> that's why that's why he's selling Skyrim so much, is because he has to pay for his drywall addiction. I can't stop. They see me five times a week at Home Depot. Like, why do you need so much drywall? It's like I need it, man. I'm just, building like five houses. I just imagine like he walks in this and like the person working there's like, no, protect the drywall! Set up the turrets! He's like all hunched over, like walking to the drywall section. He's just like the workers, like clutching the drywall. You won't take my drywall! No, no! <laughs> he just grabs it, chucks like fifty dollars at him, and drags it away. <laughs> it was funny though, like uh, seeing some of, some of the glitch. Yeah, once once you just set yourself a disappointment, seeing some of the glitches and knowing I'm like, well, I didn't waste my money on that, <laughs> like. Like when the car drives somewhere, it just explodes for no reason. <laughs> that okay. Was, 
I saw that once where it was like the person was like driving up with the car, like the police were just like phasing through the floor, and they were just like, "Police, we're here to arrest you!" And they, <laughs> oh, it's so good. It was so bad. Dusty Foxkin. Hello. Question: It's going to spark some controversy here in the Argent community. Can we get a definitive ranking on the major meats? Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right. Let me get a notepad document up. First off, we got to get what major meats are we talking here? All right. Uh, probably just like the staples. Okay. Yes. Tuki. Tuki. Boff. I'm going to start out. I'm going to say beef top tier. I would... Beef is a top tier meat. That's number one. I would say at least uh, my top three. Beef chicken uh this is a hard one mine would go beef chicken ham turkey i would agree with and that. i'm not counting fish because fuck you fish fuck fish honestly i'm not even like one who hates if fish. if i had to count fish they go after chicken uh i would i agree with you pretty much i would i would say turkey over um what's it called ham but ham? yeah i think yeah major agreement on the meats there's gonna be, there's, you know there's gonna be some fans who fucking get pissed oh. off though i don't know i just i've never been a huge fan like turkey's good very occasionally i i guess that's probably why i like turkey so much because i don't have it as often some of the turkey flavors, like once I start having more than a bit of it, it's like oh, mm. disappointing. I feel like turkey is a bit obsolete. Whereas ham is like it's that's not my favorite meat, but I I can eat like whenever. Yeah, ham's pretty goddamn good. I like beef because beefy men. Oh fuck! I dropped my bottle cap. A sex offender named Jeff. Yeah. What are the chances we see Fatal Frame on the channel? Jokes on you, motherfucker! I think it's listed for uh, what's it called? Halloween Horror. I think. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta stay pretty high. It's pretty high and pretty fucking high. I should. Because honestly, eventually I'd want to do Fatal Frame. Yeah. Just because it's always been like an interesting little game I've known about but never played. I've played Fatal Frame two, I think, but not the first one. Gotta play it as the Japanese women don't get blocked. I honestly go, I think that's because I played it like years ago, and that was why I played it. I was just like, oh, Japanese woman. Oh, I guess I gotta play this. <laughs> yeah. Listen, a 14 year old Austin did not have any morals or. <laughs> oh, 14 year olds are wild. Yeah, man. That's when, like, all humanity goes out the window. You're 14. You're basically a wild animal. You're 14 jelk time if you're 14 and you're not jelking what the fuck is wrong with you this is the official jelk podcast <laughs> i want us to be like that or that's what we should be known as the number one jelking podcast <laughs> epic gamer xd my balls are i'm curious what are some of the games that you guys started and intend to finish also what are the chances of revisiting dead space oh dead space absolutely yeah, I, it's basically gonna it's gonna get a second go through at some point. I feel probably like, not for like a, a horror. No, like season. It might be like next winter or something. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know when, but maybe at some point it shows up on a playthrough or something like that. But do we? I, I want to play it when it's cold outside. So I feel like that does work. Yeah. Well, jokes so on maybe, you. Maybe like jokes on you you can't do playthroughs when it's cold all right november yeah Tina. i think it would be better because it, it would feel weird it's like oh it's hot out we play dead space it needs to how we need i need to be immersed to, i need to be need to chill my spine. oh yeah i want to stomp stomp on me isaac please <laughs> isaac stomp on my balls oh please I yeah, but some of the games we started and intended to finish half-life 2 Donkey Kong Country, yes. Silent Hill, essentially the three games on the pole. The three games on the pole, but I think once we start uh, do some more spaghetti, there might be a couple where it's like, okay, we might want to do a playthrough of this. 
Yeah, that's that's gonna be coming to the spaghetti. It's like, oh, yeah. Here's I, a sneak preview game we want to start. Yeah, that's um. Oh fuck. Uh, for, fuck me. That's what I want. Um, fuck juice. Like I said before, or like I said earlier, or spaghetti, where do some funny stuff, but also start a couple series where we're not we're on the fence about. Sort of be like, ah. Eh. Do we want to do play through this? Okay, we like it. It's getting views. Let's con let's finish it. We like the meat. We like meat. And juice robot. Hi. If robot juice was a thing in the 1990s, how would you run it compared to how you do it now? It would be probably just pure edge and like gross out humor. Because I'm not a fan of gross out humor. Uh like I distinctly do not like it. I will. I'm not like I'm like eh. I feel like honest to god. Well, I for the time period, gross out humor. But I feel like in, honest to god, in my opinion, though, gross out humor is like literal bottom tier stupid. I I wouldn't do gross out humor. That's not my thing. I feel yeah. Gr to me, it would probably just be Edge, like the wrestler. Yeah, my favorite wrestler. To be honest, though, I. I think I just said, well, I just said gross on humor because of the time. It probably would just be like, all right, what edgy stuff can we say to get attention? Like, what 14-year-old named Kyle is going to be like, oh, I like robot juice, but my mom's not going to let me watch robot juice. I, I had a weird idea that it would be edgy wrestling commentary. <laughs> you were going to edge during wrestling commentary? Yeah. It'd probably be like almost uh, like a Tom Green or something. Something like that. Yeah, we're gonna build a new Tom Green. We're gonna, it's gonna be better than the original. We're gonna gross out humor. We're gonna plans. we're gonna shit ourselves. We're gonna come. We're gonna fart. We're gonna jail. We're uh, all. That's what you know. What that's what we should do. Just masturbation tutorials. <laughs> yeah, and we're gonna leave it off strong with Joe Biden's official femboy. Glad to hear. Her. So, do you guys believe in ghosts? Have you ever had a paranormal experiences? Uh, besides Casper for the PlayStation 1, which will eventually be finished. It will not eventually be finished. That stop, is a lie. Stop lying to yourself. You're in denial. It'll never be finished. It will never. That's like, on, honestly, the God on every game we played, that's like the least likely to be finished. There's so many more ahead of it. I will say uh, that it, it was pretty scary. It was pretty spooky. I felt like I was dying. That's scary. <laughs> no, I don't believe in ghosts. I, f I don't believe in ghosts, but there's part of me that just really wants to. Like, I I like those, like, ghost shows and stuff like that. And there's part of me that's like, I just want to believe, but I can't. It's just too unrealistic. Yeah. It's like, just, I can't be that retarded. Uh, yeah, I feel like... I mean, I still like them because they are so retarded. But it's just like... I just... I feel like it would be interesting if they were, but... God damn. Yeah. I don't think I've... Honest to God, most... I, I, I mean, I've had, like, experiences where it's like, oh, that's kind of creepy. Like, a pan starts floating and goes up my nose or something like that. Yeah, normal stuff. Yeah, normal. Pretty normal stuff. But I feel like a lot of paranormal shit, well, all of it is just, like, you know, bullshit. And... It's just people see things because you're... Your perception of reality isn't always 100% correct. Sometimes you see moving shapes that aren't actually there. Yeah. Or it's just a trick of the light, and then people just interpret it as ghosts. I've had a couple of those. Yeah. But I just know it's like, oh, I, this no wasn't a real shadow. It's just my brain thought it saw something there. I have that I have that happen to me, too, a lot, where there's a lot of stuff I can't tell if it's real or not, like memories I have. Yeah, schizophrenia, you know. <laughs> I legitimately... This is going to sound so fucking schizophrenic. I remember I have a distinct memory as a kid where there was this guy in a trench coat and I saw him walking down the street and he didn't have a head. But the thing is, obviously, so obviously it wasn't that he had a head. It was just some, like my, for some reason my brain was like, oh, he doesn't have a head. But for a long, much longer than I should have, I was just like, oh yeah, that guy doesn't have a head. He's walking down the street. <laughs> yeah, that's normal. I also, this is going to sound so weird. I legit, I have a memory of getting like a Megatron like transformer thing when i was younger but i don't think it's real but it's also real <laughs> listen man i don't i don't think it's real but 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 it's real you gotta 
the earth is like round but it's flat you know like, like it's round but it's in like a flat way the earth is a donut you know? the earth is shaped like a velociraptor wake up people we live on a big jelly donut wake up sheeple That's show me them toes uh why can't ghosts be real my life would be so much more entertaining <laughs> my joking would be so much more fun like a ghost watched this I, I saw i remember too i saw something the other day where it was like someone was like they were hearing like demon noises or something like that so they started like and like they kept hearing like these noises in the corner or stuff like that so what they did is they started like angrily jerking off and staring in the corner and the noises stopped <laughs> and they, <laughs> they got scared i was just like that is like some like i cannot express how amazing that is which is like that's your first thought i think i'm pretty sure it was a fortune post which would make sense where they're just like their first instinct whereas there's a demon i had this demon in my room i must masturbate aggressively until it goes away <laughs> yeah you're not ready demon you're not ready here i come <laughs> i'm closing in i i like to the people who are like I'm being haunted by a demon. Maybe it's a big fucking big titty demon that's gonna suck me off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sup, demons? It's me, your, your boy. boy, skinny penis. Uh, anybody's balls hurt? <laughs> Any ball hurt in the chat? Thumbs up the video if your ball hurt. If ball hurt. <laughs> <laughs> ever wake up then ball hurt? You ever do that where you're like, I want to be. I'm sick of having two balls, it's too much work, so you just shove them, you squish them together to form one big ball. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> uh, that's a disturbing thought now, I just imagine it like a, it's just like a dick and a big ball. Anyway. It's a big ball. Big balls. Big, big, big ball. Oh, you can, hold on, you leaked, you can see the cord to my headphones. Leaked. Alright, yeah! We juicing. We oh, juicing now. We juiced so fucking hard. I cannot believe those people. Cannot believe it? Official juicers. Ah. Uh, what if I just board the mic? Anyway. Don't mind me. Any last words? Man, this really is like 20 minutes of conversation. And there's a whole bunch of answering questions. What a fucking loser of a podcast. Why would you watch this podcast? I got my finger what, stuck are you in a the joker? water bottle. I got my finger stuck in a water bottle. <laughs> is this why we don't talk? We talk for five seconds, you get your finger stuck in a water bottle? My finger is now wet because there's a little water left at the bottom. Oh, a little, a little sprinkly water and it get all up on your fingertip. Oh, it's a little moist. <laughs> anyway. Big city water bottle, GF. Anyway, Thursday will be spaghetti tie. Uh, Saturday, continue Lego Indiana Jones. Next week will be Gamer Time. The Suicide Pact. Uh, sorry. Before we end, I have to peer pressure you about this because oh, otherwise no. it won't get done. Oh no. We started working on that fan Discord. I know, I fucking knew it. I knew you were gonna say, as soon as you said I gotta peer pressure you, I'm like, you're gonna fucking mention the Discord. Yep, then we, we need to work on that again and release it at some point here in the near future. Yeah. I keep forgetting about it because I'm like, oh, I gotta do this and that. And then so we can jelk. I gotta, the chat. That's the big part is I have to make sure the official jelking room is all in order. Yeah. Before we can let people in there. Uh, That's coming soon, maybe. Yes, it will be coming soon. Just like we will. And this, yeah, this Thursday is not is going to be more of a serious spaghetti. We have a couple games to try out, uh, fuck each other, and then yeah. Tuesday, uh, yeah, next Tuesday will be more like the both where we do do some silly, do some serious, constant joking. Oh, <laughs> there's way too much joking this podcast. <laughs> the joke cast. I, I'm sure if you count just the parts where we say the word joking it's like at least three minutes of content welcome of to just the, that one word welcome to on the joke or joke the juice whatever you prefer <laughs> <laughs> on joke juice i think the title should just be joking dot 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 <laughs> we can give like three titles combine them all into one <laughs> just put them all 
Uh, anyway. They're also bad, too. Yeah. Any videos coming up? Any videos? Well, I spoiled, I think... It's either tomorrow or the day after that... Uh, I almost said Dead by Daylight. Deal or No Deal is going to be coming out. Also known as Dead by Daylight. Also known... Most people don't know that. I don't have the fucking schedule open, but I'm just going to go off the top of my head. Lego Batman, Pikmin, the, like the very end of Pikmin, probably Terraria, and then like Resident Evil to look for more of those. And then I'm going to be, like I said too, I released uh, some more. with I put out Galaga, put out Killer is Dead, which we did a while ago. But you can probably see a lot of days where there's two videos uploaded where it's like, here's a playthrough, and then here's like a spaghetti thing we did that isn't a playthrough. I'm surprised you put out Killer is Dead. Yeah, I, I was. It doesn't. It, the game, the game itself doesn't fit the like our style of like PS2 games. But mm -hmm. I feel like the actual game and gameplay and everything does fit Robot Juice kind of. It as I, a stylistic point of view. I'll say that with that game. I think there was definitely. I like that because there was like a certain charm to it. And I love games that can do that, where they have like that certain style and charm that really, really works. Also, too, I, I think the main reason I posted was like I was just fucking around and I made a thumbnail. I made the uh, thumbnail for him. Like that's a good thumbnail, so I just uploaded it. Why were you fucking around making a random thumbnail for a series you weren't gonna upload? Well, I was no, I, I was on the fence, and I was like, if I can make a good thumbnail, maybe I'll upload it. And then I was like, okay, this is nice. If people want more of that, that game isn't too terribly long. Mm. Well, you can try to play through it. Listen, if they want, well, they gotta want don't, get blocked, that. don't get blocked and tell us. Watch the video, put it in the comment section. Send me your dick pic saying this killer is dead. Uh, the best part is we can stream it because it's, for, uh, it's first. It, it's content. Yeah. It's, it's in the game. It's not modded. <laughs> it's allowed. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go. Anyway, let's we, go. We've been going on for too long. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a big oof. This is, uh, yeah, this is why I wear a hat. Uh, That's my face after Jelkin. Yeah. This is. This is the face of a Jelker. There you go. All right, but the, that's uh, that's your uh, two and a half hour podcast. Yeah, we went for a long time. We really should end it now because I have to take out the trash and put a bean burrito in my ass. I'm honestly amazed you didn't say I have to go take a piss. I don't. I don't have to take a piss right now. It's a miracle. <laughs> how does that happen? You don't have to piss. Yeah, we've gone for how long and I don't have to piss. And I, I was drinking. I'm a, I'm a drinker, but no piss. I'm drinking heavily over here on my podcast. Yeah. Anyway. Wow, it's amazing. It's a miracle. I'm ending it forever. There's never another podcast. Oh. Leave.